now tuned into Bars and Hoops Radio. Where the world of hip-hop and sports live. One thing that I learned about this game is that you can't skip the grind. You know what I mean? There's no off-seasons. There's no days on. You can't skip leg day. You can't skip arms. You can't skip chest. Go no off season, it's no season, we taking off 3D, it seals the great, we cut from a different cloth. The mother podcast, they clearly be taking shorts. We got it all covered, I'm talking music and sports. Prussian competitors, this not your regular late to 10 on Friday night, it's nothing out there sounding better, bruh. So take a seat, we kicking ass and taking names, download the app for bars and hoops, we taking over the game. You're now tuned in to bars and hoops radio. Sports live. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Stills the Great, 3D, DJ JOJ. This is no no days off, man. No off season. You know what I'm saying? Every Friday, 8 to 10, tell a friend to tell a friend. We got a special guest in the building here to kick it with us today. What's good, man? How y'all doing, man? Appreciate y'all. Goes by the name of Arliss Mikey. What's up, my guy? AKA. The professional chiller. I mean, I'm on property. Huh? Right. Always on time. Punctual. You know what I'm saying? Punctual for real, man. Right. Word up, man. So, you know, first off, man, we appreciate you coming to kick it with us, man. Right. It was a one quick phone call. A was like, nah, I'm here. When y'all recording? And I respect not, that about like you, other, man. I'm not like these other guys. Come on, man. Respectfully. <laughs> Word up. From like like day one, because I realized like a lot of these guys, they like kind of forget like the essence of where they come from. Absolutely. On like the grind. Like this is really the grind. Absolutely. People get caught up in the wave of getting a couple of dollars, messing with a couple like bad joints, and they forget like this is where it starts from. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like y'all my guys from like, the, even if y'all want my guys from, this is where it starts, right in the basement, right here, the grind. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the radio stations, none of that. We ain't Hollywood. Yeah. Nah, we not Hollywood at all, man. We want to give you that. If artists yeah. and actors and stuff, like, they if they really, like, say who they are, it's supposed to start from right here. It's a whole fact. That's a fact. whole fact. And he knows this. This is a guy, like, been around all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he knows that like, he's supposed to start right here. Or shit, so we might as well jump right into it. I mean, we just gonna do the basketball thing, but, but ain't gonna be yeah, around for you sticking around for the day, the yeah, whole I, day. I'll be in damn near till ten. So. All right, that's what I'm talking. About. Know, we so, could go, we could go to the back. We could start from there. Uh, I mean, definitely well versed in the basketball. Oh, so, 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 so let's do it. We can keep up. We can start there, man. But before we do that, man, you know, part and self, man, because DJ JLJ just got back. You know what I'm saying? So Jay, we gonna start with you, fam. How was your week, man? And how was peace, your weekend? Man, peace, last man. weekend. Yes, oh sir. man, I just just enjoy my vacation, man. I went to North Carolina, Check you hung out, out for a minute, you know, back back in Queens. And um, let me see, how was my week? My week was smooth, man. Smooth. Legendary DJ yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm smooth, man. We here, Word. we live, baby. We ready to do it, man. Let's do it. Hold up, and three. How was your week? Oh, my eyes? Okay, yeah. we gonna go to me. I mean, my week been hectic, man. It was crazy, man. You know, getting back to action, moving around. You know, nine to five life. You know, yes, I work. You know I'm what I'm saying? I, I'm a working man, yes, sir. And um, but see the difference between you and like other people because you're securing the person that you are. Ha- absolutely, people be having like jobs and be like trying to like hide the fact that they, they got rats. They be like, hot. it's like yo, bro, like it's yeah. nothing. You get into a bag, bro. Like, Whole fact. That's why I'm glad that y'all invited me to this show. I couldn't wait to get on here. I oh, flew man. back. I was talking to your guys for two hours in the airport. I couldn't have stacked on the, the the airplane for three hours. I couldn't wait to get to this show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's why I fuck with no, you. No, real, nah. like real Queens official guys, like because a lot of them is like, I don't, you know, what, what happens to them? You know, like they, they like out of here, they out of here, they out of here. They're like a last of a dying breed. And I they don't that. know. I've been in. I'm not from Queens, but you know, like I always been in You've Queens. Been and, you know, fucking with Queens guys forever. Like y'all, like a last of a dying breed. This is fire. Like everybody that's official from Queens. Supposed to support this show. No question. No That's question. How I feel. We gonna get there brick by brick, man. For real. That's we definitely right. gonna get there brick by brick, man. But yeah, the week been smooth for me, um, three man. What about you, man? I mean, like I tell y'all, every time we make it to another show is good for me. Oh fact. You know I mean, the week been great. You know what I mean? We here to do what we do. That's one of the reasons why we started this show. We wanna rap and embrace the up and coming artists, the people That's that have been on their ground for a while, shine some light on them in the process. Uh, build, build what we doing. You know, no question. Me and Stills got together. We had a great idea, so let's right. expand it. Let's build on it. Joj was with it, and 
we had in the off season. Yeah, and you've been like like I said, three been like the glue to put everything together from day one. Yeah, like Jay, he, he always been a glue. Yeah, man. facts, kid. He he like fit like you know what I mean. It was seamless, kid. Like he been here from the whole time, man. And then once he know was what like, it is with, mm-hmm. respectfully, he just he just like always been the guy just to show that no matter what his position. It's not enough guys like him and like nah. Tony Yayo and Shout out to just know like you know because I speak to them all the time like yeah. they just know like their role. Facts. Like everybody want to be Jordan, nobody want to like, be Pippen. So it's like whatever the role is, like you know what I'm saying like he's willing to play. Like he was always been that guy that I always respected, even when we was younger. Like he just was like. He's just a leader. No question. It's not no a question. lot of people like that. You nah. know what I'm saying? I mean, I think when you're trying to win, you got to put your ego to the side. And mm-hmm. I just never, I never had an ego. Like, even That's back right. to my basketball days, like, I ain't have no ego. Did I have to develop a different persona on the court? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, people used to try to judge me of the person I was by the way I played. Completely different. On the court, I'm trying to rip my heart out. You, you know was know a saying? dog. Where the mother? You was a dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, we could go out and drink ain't party, whatever. You know what I mean? So... His that, pops did all the talking. Yeah, that was, that was just pops my... with the bop. Like he just definitely <laughs> his pops demeanor when he came around, you, you knew what time it was. Facts. Like it was just like it was just like aggressive without speaking. Like, I got a bad rap for that. You, you know what I mean? I got a bad. I got a bad like, rap. When he came for that. on, it was like, yeah, that's deep pops. Word. He just never spoke, but the way he just came around is that 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 limp. Like he was just like, yo, he's dead serious. Yeah, and. I, I I agree with him. I really think he probably had a bad rap because of his dad. I did. I did get a bad rap uh, because of the way my father carried himself. But, and, you know, in the same token, my, my pops was a certified street dude. It's turned basketball dad. Right? You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's an ill transition. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he left that life to guide me. You know what I'm saying? So I always say to this day, and we both laugh about it now, it's like we saved each other's lives. That's a fact. He was in your you know life. What I'm saying? I got I got him to leave that alone because he seen something in me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I always say that like we saved each other's lives and he saved my life by leading me raising a strong black man. Facts. You know what I mean? To go straight, integrity, stand tall, mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah. So that that's how I am, and that's why I'm still here today. Yeah. Like all I said, I've been around for a long time. Uh, yeah, shit. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You so know, come on, man. You know, I knew my my queen. Nah, sister. I know you. Come I on, kid. Sister. I know you know your queen. I knew my queen. Sister, sister, real. Okay. Where's the mother? Damn, my bed is over now. <laughs> now I feel like the old nigga at the table. Jay, I'm like, come over there and start spinning. <laughs> Hold on, man. Don't forget the number to call in is 516-206-0711. We're going to take it to a DJ J-O-C, J-O-J spin cycle. When we get back, man, we're going to get to this interview, man. All it's Michaels. TL is in the building. Yeah, I know. Check in with really. us. Time of the line. Shout out to I, Gilly, man. Yeah, you know Chauncey gonna, Gillips. So we're we, we, we yeah, gonna get Gilly on the show, too. Man, get man. Gilly to come through, man. Maybe that was worth a game. That's gonna be big. Word. That's big. Fact. That's that's big. That's big for, for Queens and you guys. That's, that's a fact. All, always been authentic. No doubt. You already a lot know. of people might not know, like y'all, like y'all big. You know, y'all never switch up. Been authentic since day one. You know me from. <laughs> it's the <laughs> most I ever heard him talk. <laughs> 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 guys, guys don't stop saying. I love my brother. Stop doing that. Three is my guy, kid. You get here talking this shit. Yo, I ain't gonna front this platform. Yeah, we opened up, kid. And Jay, am I lying? When yeah. he get on that mic, he start yeah, talking definitely. this shit. He be like, nah, he's a wise, yeah. wise young nah, man. Nah, but you know what you know I mean? do? I, I, I really be like, I went through. He's a guy that I looked up to, and I always thought he was just official because you know he wasn't like really like in like talking too much. He's like let his. Is you know like his game and everything. Talk, like, speak so, for yeah. Oh, you, you don't, you don't, you don't have to be loud to make noise. That's, That's a whole fact. fact. And I, I realized that. Fact. So like, as, you know, we got older, and how much we got cooler. It's like, yo, you just was always official. Like, I always respected, just respected him. Like, it's <laughs> and, and then, as and a then, kid, that is a man. I, no I kind of yeah, embraced right. that, and I carried that yeah. on and off the court because you could assume whatever you want. Yeah, I rather you assume. And underestimate or not think, yeah. like I said, I walk into meetings and it's like you can't tell me anything. Yeah. I already did my homework. Yeah. That's one thing about me. I'm never gonna speak on something I'm uneducated about or I ain't do my homework on. Oh, like niggas just be talking because they want to be uh-huh. right and be yeah. debative and argumentative. Nah, man, I did my homework. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. But that's neither here nor there, man. We got our second guest in the building. We got 
TL, Let's go. Top of the Line in the Building, yeah, South Side of Fun, yes. South South of South 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 coming out yeah. called Toast. Wow. He's here, man. Like, T.L., yeah, what's up, man? Let's go, man. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 20 yeah. years yeah. in. I, <laughs> yeah. I love T.L. Gotta love T.L. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy, I'm happy. I finally made it to bars and hoops. Let's man. go. Yeah. Finally. Wow, this should feel good, man. Yeah, this should look good, too. That's what I'm talking wow. about, baby. This should look Word. good down here. Yeah. Now, we live, though, man. We got the new project, Toast. So we just, all year long, I'm in a celebration mode. All year long. So if you're going to be around me, I'm telling you, be prepared to celebrate. Have a good time. That's what we're doing all year. No question. I promise no question, you. man. <laughs> so, so for our listeners, this is for both of y'all, man. Yeah. Tell everybody who TL, because we got a lot of young people in the building. We the engineer young. Uh -huh. Tell everybody who TL is. Tell everybody who Arliss Michael is, man. How did you guys come up and where are you from? And what inspired you to make music? Talk about we it. All, we, all, we all dived into this music game around the same time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We we come what the what the people realize throughout this conversation that we come from basketball. Uh -huh. right. However, we, we music has always been a part of our lives and a part of us. Yes, sir. And we graduated to fucking with the music. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So let the people know who you are, where you from, what influenced you to get into the music full time versus I right, the basketball shit was cool, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna fuck with this music. Talk about it. All right, well, you know, for me. Like, like, really start off. Like, my whole family, we all from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 800 Grand, Grand Concourse Village was the more match runners for my building. He used to babysit me. I lived up there until about fifth grade. Mm. You know what I mean? My whole, like, the whole family. Like, Monster Mash. So, you know, like, Monster Mash. So, down a block from Cardinal Hayes, a couple blocks from Gauchos. So, you know, like, as a kid, I was a big fan of, like, Fat Joe, Flo Joe. I used to be a little kid. <laughs> like, I ain't going to lie to you. I was on uh, three episodes of the Cosby Show as a kid. My mother worked with Merlin Santana mm. and Bud from the Cosby Show mother at Harlem Hospital. That's where they worked at. So I, somehow I got an audition. I got in like three episodes. I'm trying to find these three episodes and throw it on the third. <laughs> and, throw it on. and uh, you know, that was like great. And then from there, then I moved to Brooklyn. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, so I look at this. How I look at life. Like Jamal made it to the NBA. Mm. I at that time, the, who the fuck knows he was gonna make it to the NBA? So then when I moved to Brooklyn, I lived on the same block as Jackie Robinson. But I lived out there for two and a half years. The same block as Terminator X. Being a crib. Shout out yeah. to Terminator hey, X. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm starting to like all my skills. Like you know what I'm saying? So. I get so much love everywhere I go. And then when she came back, then I went back over there. Mm. So uh, now, like, when I started really, like, taking music, like, seriously, you know, like, people don't realize, like, a guy like Terrell Blair doesn't really get the credit he deserves. Terrell he really, Blair. He really started a lot of a lot of us off, like, Axel, French, me, Freddie Shout Johnson. Axel. Corey Guns. Uh, uh, Goods, Joel Ortiz, there's a lot of artists. I really feel like he doesn't really, he created a platform for the for the underground. He was the one of the guys. and I was a guy that, like, I'm everywhere. Like, I was everywhere before they created the word outside and all this <laughs> shit. Whatever they created. Like, I'm whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? As I said, my grandparents are like, they was real, like, religious. You know what I'm saying? So, like when 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 Doggy Style came out, like he'll tell you, like you know, like the church, we was like little kids, like oh shit, <laughs> where's the mother? Cursing in the church, you know. Like <laughs> once I realized, like I was sending, I really didn't feel comfortable being in the church because that's the father fact. young is my is my godfather, come so it's like kid, come I on. didn't really go in, really, yeah, he really going in, comfortable, like, he going so when in. Doggy Style came out, I probably was like 11, 10, 11. I was like, oh no, nah, I don't feel comfortable. I felt like how Vampire Brooklyn was when he went to church. I ain't <laughs> comfortable, so I was like, oh, that's over. Mm. But that's crazy. It was like you know, like like moving around. Now it's like, all right, yo, you know, you start like meeting a lot of like 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 good people everywhere. Yeah. Like whether it was sports, as I said, like like yourself, just like Foster Law is like people don't even know like Fifty Cent used to do like 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 pull ups and shit when he was working out. 
Banks played. He was he wasn't shit at the time. Shout out to Fifth. Shout out to Banks. <laughs> it was like he so now he, he, nah, he, he, yeah, yeah. he don't even. Hey, don't do he that. Shit. Wow. And, uh, because he always played up. So he, you know, he was playing 17, 18 and unders. He yeah, wasn't playing with his hands. Yeah, three wasn't playing. So it was like, you know, like a lot of things that you remember, like now. And my favorite rapper is LL Cool J. So when I got a chance, when I was in college now playing, sent a demo to him. He's like, yo, Tony Rome was the president. He's like, yo, I'm feeling this shit. Yo, have a meeting. I want any on. Illy on Ave, whatever, somewhere. Illy on Ave, right on Dunkirk. 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 Right yeah. But the contract was, was right. But now I realize like you gotta put artists out at certain times, certain things because it was me and um Scola. He was wound up becoming the fifth member of Drew Hill. Oh right. Wow. So like if you look at Drew Hill, they have five members, not four anymore. But this is years, years ago. It's, yeah. He's been five members for years now. Wow. His name is Scola. And he was in the uh the Carl Thomas uh I think Faith Evans video back then. And, you know, you start learning the process, like the the the, the growth. Emmy was around. Tiki Dobbins, Shout out he know him. Yeah. Yeah. Shout you know, out Jay, to, you know, yeah. Superstar Jay's from around there. Shout out to Jay. And I remember, like, I just remember these things, like, vividly. It's like, wow. Because, you know, like, a lot of these people, they, they try to cheat the grind. Facts. You can't. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, you can't cheat the grind. You can't cheat the grind. As I said, I remember me and, like, T.L., and I was like, yo, his music is fire. You know? I have no problem giving people like they, they yeah, just do. Right. Yeah. I just like you know they the voices was like kind of similar the content. Even as a kid, mm. I wasn't the biggest fan of Jay Z. I was like a cannabis fan because I didn't under you know when you're younger, before you got the money, you didn't really understand <laughs> what Jay Z was talking That's about. <laughs> That's you know a man? fact. So my man Vi was like, "Yo, this nigga Jay Z was fire," but he was doing the you know the, that fast like Fushnikin type shit. I didn't yeah. really understand what he was saying. 1996. So now you got to realize. <laughs> He was already like the time I like was in the ISA at that time. I mean, I played in it, but he was already talking that type of shit. Now at the time I'm getting money, so I understood it more now. <laughs> I didn't understand it back then. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> that president, I'm like, I didn't understand none of that shit. I thought cannabis was like the illest, like the illest guy like to ever rap. Wow. Ever. That's crazy. And they see he's from somewhere in Queens, but I, I thought, thought he was like I thought he was like yeah, cannabis. Yeah, yeah he, 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 I don't know where he's from, but I thought he's from Queens. Bro. Lie, no disrespect. To oh, is he? Bro. I ain't know. <laughs> he but I'm saying, but I just he wasn't from the north side little, on the bro. south side, right, Jay? <laughs> Jay, you ain't come Jay across. Jay said, nah, nah, nah. Jay, his records ain't come through your record shop, right? No, nah. yeah. nah, he did. Bro. I mean, I thought he was from Queens. I think he said Queens, but he from that lot. He from that lot. Shout out three was like, no, he from that lot. But you know, like a lot of people don't realize, like, there's a lot of. There's a lot of like, you know, there's a lot of talent like coming from everywhere. And a lot of people like don't realize that. So I look at like my journey and all the places I live, because you know, my mom's in the military, so I always bounced around. Yes, yes, I was yes, five indeed. in high school. So yes, it's like, like, all right, cool. This is what it is. I never lived in the Queens, but they you fucked with me. Around. Yeah. Yep. I was always around. Yep. So it was like, yo, Queens is a lot of official people, West Side Merrick, and North yeah. Side, South Side, yeah. West Side, uh, outside, Merrick. whatever. And like, I gotta give you your respect, kid, because everybody on Long Island respects you for your handle. Yeah, you're a legend yeah. on Long you're Island. You're a legend bro. on Long Island. Like, I, I you feel carried like, a lot of people on the on Long Island because I feel like it don't matter where you at. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, as long as you show love, you gonna get the love. So That's a fact. I respect that. People don't realize, like, as a kid, I only stayed there. For two two years and like four months, right? Impact. So if my impact was that great, and uh, even to see the show, yeah. I didn't even know the gentleman yeah. was talking nah, about me like that. <laughs> shout, out know, like, so, shout out to so shout out to so much. I'm saying we, we chopped it up like I yeah. didn't like that. Oh, yeah. oh come on, because yeah. it's like I really feel like I did so much. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, like I really did a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? Nah, so you did. when it's all said and done, it's like I look at shit like. Blocks getting named after me. I look at like shit like that's that. Talk that that's that's awesome. Awesome. bombs at Jay. <laughs> yeah, drop a bomb. Yeah. 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 So when he was saying what he was saying, like yo, put on. I really feel like that, but yeah. I always feel like the greatest stories told is coming from somebody else. My soul. So like when he said that, yeah, I said that. Yeah, he I said like, it. 
Exactly. He said that. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I put a whole bunch of people that didn't even know they could act and put them on a joint that have 55 million views. Oh, hold no. on. We're going to get back to that because we got to get into that. <laughs> hold on. All of, you know, we, might have to do, we might have to do three hours. I don't know if two hours. So now, like, up. even even you got to get the TL. Studio, Come on, kid. Like, see, I was like, yo, let's do a record. Yeah, that's even know I'm like a like a big T. Yeah, I like that. Like, that's nice. go, boy. Yo, I'm getting drunk. I'm like, damn, son, this nice. I'm like, let me figure out these bars. Yo, hold on, hey, hold right on. Round, I'm like, yo, I gotta figure this out. Hold on, shot. hey, hold on. So now we gotta get T outside of the thing, man. Yeah. So like, we started off, man. Y'all both transitioned from ball into what you're doing now. Yeah. How was that transition for you? Uh, it was a little weird at first because I didn't know I could rap. You know what I mean? Like my first time getting in the studio, I used to do it from my hood who who we looked at as he was the rap god. God Ooh, bless his name, Sonny the God. Sonny Black. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Sonny Black. Some people, yeah, some Sonny people Black might know stuff. him as Bink if they're a little older. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, for yeah. us, yeah. he was everything for better, a rap. Better, oh, I don't mean to cut you up. Better than a lot of niggas. A, a whole gang of niggas. Shout out to a lot of niggas. And if and if young dudes to give a comparison. A more lyrical version of Ross, and I only say that because they was dark, fat niggas, fly niggas, and he got money. I I, I hear Ross was official getting money, but I know firsthand, like I, I've been with him. Yeah, he was getting some money. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was talking that shit. Yeah. So my first time in the studio was actually by accident. I told this story. I think maybe one other time. He, I was waiting for him to come outside this particular day to yeah. do something. Yeah. So he never called me. He happened to be coming past the building where we hustled at. Somebody, I don't know how he knew I was in the building. Whatever it was, he called my phone. And when he called me, he said, yo, that's you in the building? I said, yeah, where you at? He said, yo, cross the roof and come out the other building. So I'm like, what do you mean cross the roof? Cross the roof. Cross the roof and come out the other building. Shit, so hey. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you bug. He said, nah, I'm dead serious. Like, cross the roof, out the other building. Yeah. He said, you just made a sale. So I'm like, I looked out the window. I see him in the cab. So I'm yeah. like, oh shit. And then you look to the right, it's the you see the boys. No ideas over there. So I crossed the roof, came out. The boys came in the building I was in. I crossed the roof, came out, got in the cab. He took me to the studio. I never left Get the studio. The fuck out True of story. Wow. Guy. True story. That's how Saved I first your life. Time I've ever got in the studio. And when I got in there, we were just talking shit. Like we we talk shit a lot. Yeah. Like in, in my hood, like niggas would be outside at night. You just talking shit about Shout out to 42. Man. So he Where told me, he was like, yo, you ever thought about rapping? I was like, nah, nigga, I don't know how to rap. Like, I, I'm look at you. I look at you as like the god. Yeah. He yeah. was like, nah, look, this is what you do. You see how you always talking shit? You always got something slick to say? Yeah. Just say it on a beat. Just try to catch the beat. I swear to God, he taught me how to do that shit. He wow. said, don't try to write no ill rap. Just talk some shit. Just yeah. say some shit. Yeah. And what got me was he said, "Nigga, you master son, you know how to talk shit. Yeah. Just talk shit." Wow. And I started doing it, and man, I want to say by the third day, I finally had a verse, and he had to do all the ad libs and everything because I ain't have a clue what to do. Wow! And that's how I started rapping. Wow! Wow! wow. wow. That nigga say, "God bless his soul, man." That nigga, I always tell him like, I don't know what that direct was, I don't know where that would have put me at, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you saved me, boy. Wow! wow. You that saved me. Saved you. Wow! So God bless him, man. That's crazy. And for you, a <laughs> Like right. for even, even with you rapping, because I was like, oh shit, hey, <laughs> I rap. know what it is. Word. <laughs> How you I'm, getting to that? I'm gonna tell you, like, it was crazy because I was on a uh in fifth grade, I was I wound up getting on the, like a Nickelodeon show. Like, no Get the shit. word. I don't even know how I got on this shit. <laughs> and I'm gonna find the footage. I want to sing a Lodian, like in the two tape joints, yeah, and all that, right? So you know, like on weekends. As being my grandparents, Roosevelt, my yeah. grandfather, because my, my, you know, my pops, he was like, Shout out to Roosevelt, yeah. man. <laughs> right? All the right? So, my grandfather used to always come get me from Brooklyn, take me out there for, for two days. So, I met uh, my man. He lived around the corner, uh, Micah uh, Lalo. He Shout rapped. Out to Lalo. Yeah. Right? He rapped. So, I already know how to like do the do the thing. Yeah. Right? So, I was like, <laughs> play the beat and record the joint. He yeah. Rap. Yeah, that's when like you know like food snickers and yeah. all the bivity, but he was nice with that shit. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, all right, I'm taking time with that shit. No question. Like John down because now I got to sing alone. I got to free sing alone. Uh, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> like word. So like, and then now when I went back, gotta realize like 
you know, my child friends like Mo Chips and Ben was like they always shout out to Mo Chips. So like these are my childhood friends. Yeah. They was already named Bill as he co-wrote Rum Shaker. So mm -hmm. I was around for him. Wow, that's like, good. Mm -hmm. He's like 14, 13 when he wrote his little he co-wrote <laughs> this shit. I'm like, man, this shit is crazy. So I'm in the studio. Whatever I gotta do to put $25. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't really care. I'm like, I'm just, it's your studio I'm just, a, I'm just a friend. That's like, a fact. Like, whatever you gotta put in, yeah. I, that's how I feel like whatever yeah. your craft is, if you fuck with somebody, yeah. you supposed to rep it like it's your own shit. Like, that's a fact. I think TL like like, yo, bro, I need this done, whatever. Cool. It's still a game. <laughs> Yeah, it is. That's yeah. the type of person I am. So they was always nice. I'm like, damn. And it's like, yo, boy, your personality, because the way you be talking, yo, you be a nice. Because I was like playing with it. I'm like, mm. yeah, you're right. So I like, I like one little concert, like in like 99, 2000. Yeah. I rapped and everybody was going crazy. I'm like, oh, this they is said, so that's it. Wow. Got that feel. They it's got a first taste. Right now. That's, that's what, what it is. is. I was like, that's a good like, all. I'm like, I'm kidding. <laughs> <shit. laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's After good. that, I knew it was a rap. Wow. Now you see the difference between me and them. They was more like on some like you see them, you talk, they're not gonna speak to you. Yeah. I'm more of a people's person, so they're yeah. like, oh, so that was the like you know the difference. Like it's bigger. Like you know it's not just about like lyrics and beats and hooks. Yeah, it's about like vibe and like when you look at Nori. Facts. The way he's doing now. Shout out to Nori. Yeah. Well, it was easy for him because he facts. was he was like that when he's a rapper. That's a fact. He wasn't the nicest rapper, but he was more of a people's person. No right? question. What? 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 You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. TL's definitely a yeah. better rapper. Shit. Well, nah, you know, like his personality, like yeah, you know, he had the, the, the lingo and shit. He, had he his might own not slang. Say. Yeah, he had, exactly. slang. He had his own facts. slang. So right. these are things Legend that you think of. Like, Word. So now <laughs> you look at certain shit. Cause I remember being over there, like with Tyreek Brown, like we was playing. Like, Shout out know. to Tyreek Brown. Shout out to Left Brown. Well, Shout out to Urban like, Wise. He's running around <laughs> like with the with the vest and all that. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is <laughs> who? Hold on, hold on. Who boy ran around with the vest? Nigga, his uncle. Did he tell you his uncle got a nigga running around? With the weight vest with the, with the weight Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought he you was the other vest. I'm like, <laughs> running around with the bulletproof vest. <laughs> like, what? Like, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, legendary. Yeah, yeah. He know all this yeah. shit. Shout out Vince to Smith, he a Vince Smith kid. You know Shout what out to Vince like, Smith, man. He <laughs> took a lot of people to hug. Had to uh, run I around the big I wasn't right. playing that. Nah, I wasn't. What? Steve and all of them, yeah. Kev and all of them. I started late. They yeah. like, yo, Steelers, nigga, you always around, nigga, why don't you just play? Yeah. I ain't try out for varsity. I mean, you I was all right. eyes closed, though. Huh? <laughs> definitely was a yeah, I used to look at you, I tried to steal some of your shit. I was like, yeah, I got to get some of this nigga wardrobe. Word the oh, mother. I ain't start playing yeah. until I was like 16, 17. I had dislocated my elbow yeah. in the summer of 93. Cav was like, yo, Stills, nigga, you can make Jamaica varsity, yeah. nigga. Steve, too. Steve was like, yo, try out Stills, what you doing? Chester, rest yeah. in peace to my man, yeah. Chief. Yeah. Yeah. Stills, right, you can try. We all went to elementary, junior high school, and high but school. But that's together. why I first remember you from was playing ball, though. In Lincoln Park yeah, with Steve sure, and everybody, right, yeah. yeah. But and I had nice, just started. That was my first. Yo, that was my, first, yo, that yeah, was my yeah. first tournament. Lincoln Park and Ajax that wow. year, ninety four summer. Yeah. That was my first official tournament. Yeah. Them niggas was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Rossi. Yeah, the Rossi. Yeah, the Rossi. Yeah, yeah, man, like a Rossi and shit like that. Them niggas was playing when they was like seven, eight years old. Yeah, I was playing. When I was like 16, 17. So yeah. for me, I was still running the street with all my friends. Yeah. Steven was my friends too, but my friends' friends was in the streets. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I was always around those guys and I would play ball. That's how you got to meet yeah. me yeah. playing basketball yeah. back then. I know all of them from playing ball. Like exactly. I was over the Lincoln. Yes. All of them was like, that was my guy. I was in the was back backcourt with Speedy. We played AAU together. Yeah. We back played back with, the, with the Rebels together. One year, yeah, and then I forgot. It was a shit at all, team not Rossdale. Was it 72? No, nah, me and Speedy played. No, nah, it was, it was like an old picture. Oh, okay, okay. I know we, we played a couple tournament. like we won one. I think it used to be some the Delaware shootout. I think something, some crazy shit was an AAU tournament. We uh. played with the, the Rebels. I think I still got the picture of that. Shit. Wow. Wow. Speaking of basketball, real quick. I'm gonna give myself some flowers right now. Right? Let's go talk about it. I'm the first one. I wasn't the star of the team, though. I'm the first one, I think. D, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm the first <laughs> one from the borough to win a championship at ISA. What? Huh? Who the team you play with? The Panthers. From the borough? Now, okay. mind you, I was like the sixth man of the team. Some games, Tavares would get in before me. Some games, I'd get in before Tavares. Tavares my man. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the team. I'm gonna man. tell you. I'm gonna tell, ass, look, I'm gonna tell you who the star. Well, I don't know the dynamic of that, but I'm gonna tell you who the star is on that team. It was Wiley Skirbiak. Wiley Skirbiak. Shout Norris out to Wiley's Bell. world. That's right. Doris um, Bell. Not even to Brown. Um, a little point guard. Nah, skip us. Nah, skip us playing nah, with us. It was a little through. point guard. Greg Nunn? No. Greg Nunn was on the bench with us. He would come over the bench. It was he a little started, point guard. Dawson nigga. He'd go upstairs. Wild looking nigga. I forgot this dude's name. Dude, man. He, went he went to Hempstead. He went to Hempstead. Larry Ford? Larry Ford. Shout out Larry to Ford Larry Ford was the starter. You see, you um, Larry, Tavares, Wiley, and I forget the other two. So on the bench, it was me, Greg Nunn. Um, Tavares, uh, Smiley, uh, little brother, mm -hmm. Jamel, Smiley. Jamel. He wasn't Jamel. nice like that. Guy. Nah, he wasn't. But he was, you know, he was. A, he played. He put him on. He put him on the team. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Greg Nunn was on that team. Greg, yeah, I said Greg Nunn. Greg Nunn was my guy. Greg Nunn was trying to get me. Greg Nunn was trying to get me. Him and um, he became an Asian. They was trying to get me to get out of Edison to come to Lawrence. That's wow. shitty ass. They was trying to get everything was going through, but the last minute, I don't know what happened. Wow. I remember no talking to Gary. Shout out Gary Chaw. Gary I remember Chaw. talking to Gary. Hey, gonna wow. Gary was like, You gonna so you so you yeah, I wanna go. So you was on a team with his his photos, so his photos out, his photos with Basketball Speedy, his photos with Speedy, mm -hmm. Wally, Nolan. He was on that Nolan team. Nolan was on that team. Nolan was yeah. on that team. Nolan yeah. from uh, Boys and Girls? I was there that, that we, team. We, that, we won that, ISA. The only, ah. They did win ISA that year. Speedy, yeah. they won ISA that year. They had a crew. But the thing <laughs> is, <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know. Before it became ISA, do y'all know what it was before ISA? Nah, I definitely don't know. We don't know. You don't know, Al? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what it is. Before it was branded. I've been in two years. So. Before it was branded into ISA tournament, it was called Junior Knicks. Mm-hmm. That's what it was called at ISA. It was guys. called Junior. It was called, it was called Junior Knicks. Yeah, yeah, I'm what a lot of people said, we gotta get Pete. Pete up. Yeah, I'm calling Pete. Pete. Yeah, Pete. 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 Yo. Every time I be talking basketball, I be like, yo, that's crazy. I'm telling niggas you like, nah, yeah. Pete. But they automatically think that I play with a Queens team. But I play with that's the what Panthers because I, I travel with them. Yeah. That's that's how I got on the AAU team for my tryout. Somebody took me to Hempstead High School when they had a little practice with us. So he's like, yo, let me see what you're gonna do. And he played, wow. played. And I right, I really thought really I actually right. thought I was like, damn, son, I stung it up tonight. And after the shit, they called me over there, took my name. And once they did that. I said, right. I played with the Panthers too. I said, all right. Yeah, that we know you well, play with yeah. everybody. Yeah, I'm doing something funny. 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 Yeah, i am Good in my age bracket, I always played up, so I always understood. Like but now, people think you gotta play your age bracket. No, 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 this shit is fucked up. Now it's just reclassing shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so, so yeah, I don't respect that. that. So I, I look at it. I look at it. I look at it it's now, 19, like playing with sixteen year olds. How's yeah, he getting better? Like it's, it's how's he getting better? It's, it's totally a different era because my thing is like I was legitimately when I when I walked through Bishop Lachlan doors as a freshman, I was thirteen years old. Mm. I turned 14 during the season. I was a starting point guard as a freshman, as a 14 year old. Yeah, he was yeah. who, um, so my was so so my thing is when I see these guys that after me or before me that were McDonald's All Americans, but they were 16 year old freshmen. Yeah, they they got a leg up. Felipe was like, you know 19. what I'm saying? So yeah, like, I'm not 17. mad. I'm not mad at it. That's why when we had the um conversation with about. Cayenne playing varsity or not, or yeah, yeah, no, yeah. he should play up as a sophomore. He like, should to get back. He should play up as a yeah, sophomore. Good, I like it. Now, yeah, now with that being said, a kid has to earn it. A kid has to get better. But coming into it, you dominating as a 16 year old freshman, and by the time you're a senior, you're 20, a 20 year old McDonald All American. Yeah. I'm not knocking it. Mm -hmm. I just always went back to damn. If I was 16 and walking the locker as a 16 year old. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I was I, I backed up Shaheem. I backed Shout up Shamgar. Yeah, I man. backed up Stefan. 
Could you imagine me walking in the locker as a 16 year old? Yeah, you backed up some heavy hitters, kid. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. shit was a different thing. But my pops wasn't looking at it like that. He was looking at it like my son could dance with these niggas right yeah, now. Yeah, What's yeah, good? That's how she yeah, was. I see. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what it was. He wasn't, he wasn't he wasn't playing a political game. Right he wasn't playing a political game. He was like, nah, my son could dance with them right now. Let's go. Yeah. I got you got to act the fuck. I got a question. Go ahead, Jay. TL. Yeah. You said you played with Stills, or you seen Stills play. Hey, yo, come on, Jay. Don't do that. <laughs> Who's doing don't work? Do Who's doing work? Don't, don't do that. that. I, got I got just told y'all. <laughs> nah, I stopped yeah. playing until I was like, <laughs> I didn't play really, really until I was like 16. Late Zuma? Okay. Stills was okay. good. Stills nah, was I was good. all right. Yeah, yeah, I told yeah, niggas, yeah, and Jay was yeah, laughing yeah. at me like, yo, Stills, you lying. I started over Lamar. Lamar you know, was like, Zai, yo. I chop a little nigga. A lot of niggas up. That nigga Zai was Roy Hokey's ass, nigga. I'm over across town with the big boys playing at Ajax yeah, and Lincoln in 226. But I had started over Lamar. And Jay was like, nigga, you're lying. Remember <laughs> when we, had, we was over another joint? Lamar was like, yo, who is this nigga? I ain't, them niggas ain't know us. Yeah, we, me, Kev, my man Karan, we all came to Lincoln. They was like, yo, who is these niggas? <laughs> and shout out to KC from KC School. We played for the neighborhood drug yeah, dealers back yeah. in the day. I could say that. And we did all right. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't the best. Mm. But I, I took pride in playing defense, and if I got an open shot, I'm gonna try to knock that motherfucker down. I wasn't like three and I wasn't like Rashawn. I wasn't like them. I hear what I'm Like I said, yeah. all my friends ain't play basketball. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He you know, was a good dresser. Though. You know? I, hey, yeah, <laughs> and I stayed fly. Because yeah. you know I watched all the drug dealers. I watched all the drug dealers in the Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to my guy. I remember that shit. I was like, damn, this nigga dressed like a motherfucker. It was so bad, I couldn't dress. So like, I was like, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, nah, you stop. I was so happy I got to fuck around. Stop that bullshit. Brands was not with that. I said, yes, I'm taking that shit to Florida. I'm going over there. That's it. All the bullshit on. I was like, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, my mom just be mad at me. Like, yo, why you coming to church dressed like that? You and your fucking sister. I said, oh, hell no. Because God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Bible one, God don't care. Yeah, how you nigga, don't care. You look fly dressed. You're going in for the word. Yeah. And I was going for the word in Columbia. I was getting tired of keep dressing. <laughs> <the same. laughs> uh, I want to. 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 him and Fab is from the same. Band. I know you. Yeah, 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 I'm about to go there. We about to go there. Yeah, yeah, my Fab played play ball too. Yeah, yeah Fab played. Yeah, we beat. We beat Trev and Now you try to see this, please, Trev. Speak the three after this. <laughs> we played a championship game in Brevard Project. Fab is old. Oh, yeah. played with us. So in, in, the the was in the Coliseum. In the Coliseum. In the Coliseum. It was me. That's crazy. Fab and three. Tehran, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that was was and we played against Trav. I don't know what With was on the crack falls on the Coliseum. Might have had <laughs> that is crazy. Might have had I never knew that. But we beat him in the championship, and on God, ask Trav, niggas started shooting at him. Get the fuck out of here. Fab played that game? Fab played with us. They was pissed off. Like, how you playing with them? And you from Reward. Fab played with us. Nah, because you got to realize, Trav, for all the Fab fans, Trav Pops was the commissioner. Yeah, he was. He was. So, like, and that was crazy. If he did play with them, that's like that was, crazy. Yeah, Trev. Because he like ran the whole. Yeah. How was Fab though? Trev, 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 Trev was nice. So Fab both of y'all, how was Fab? Fab, Fab, Fab was, was nice. Fab was, Fab was nice. nice. Trev was nice though. Let's not. No, 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 no. Trev did a different breed. Nah, like forget Trev. Nah, TL. Nah, Trev was a different breed. How good? Trev was good. Trev was good. Trev was good. No, Trev. No, I'm saying it was Trev and Trey. Oh, I remember Trey and Dick. That's my guy. We no, I'm saying Trey, Trey, Trey is his brother. Older brother. Trey is his brother. I was an older that. brother. Trey How nice was Fab? Fab was, was right. solid. Fab was, was giving right. you an all-around game. Fab might give you 15 to 20 on oh, any wow. day. He gonna, right. get, he gonna he gonna he get a seat. He gonna get really like he was solid. Mediocre he special. Was solid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was solid. Bad was solid. Yeah. Wow. Fresh boy more too. You playing with me? Who? I hope, I hope that I hope, I hope, I hope that don't stop him from pulling up. But mediocre nah, special. Nah, pull up. Like nah, I said, Fab got everybody wasn't as nice stuff. as you, I, listen, bro. I was, yeah, I, 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 I,
the head fakes with the shades. My line was crazy. Yes. <laughs> Everybody didn't have that. Yeah. <laughs> But that, nah, he Fab yeah. was all right. He was all right. Fab was solid. Yo, I ain't go. Fab was solid. Solid and mediocre special. Mediocre special. Fab was nice. Mediocre special. They was mad as shit and breathing yeah. on dope. Like, mediocre yeah. special. Yeah. But I. Only thing that fucked Fab up. What I was saying is that. Fab made it to Fordham. His SATs wasn't right. I don't know what happened. The white poet took them shit to some money shit. Everybody ain't built for the school system, man. I developed some roots in Brevoort. Which developed this tough skin that I got as a player because my pops, my pops, yeah, which which later on became my stepmoms, he married uh, her. I didn't know that. She she's from Brevoort Projects. Mm. I didn't know so that. I, I from, from, from I so from eleven years old to thirteen years old, I used to always be in Brevoort, mm. just staying with her <laughs> parents. Know. And the only way you I know, used like to Nick go outside, I, I had to go outside and play basketball right there in the Coliseum. That shit was crazy. So I'm out there. Yeah, so I'm out there. So so yeah, so I'm out. So I'm out there getting better, getting better, getting better. That's crazy. So now I'm. Now we know he's a Brooklyn kid. Word. Now we know. Yeah, right. Yeah, we know. He's a Brooklyn. So now I'm out there. Now we say he played with Ziggy. Shout out to Pumpkin. Shout out to Jose. That was my dog. Yo, he's from Brooklyn. Now we know. Now. So now I'm out there washing kids up. They like. We going to get Watch Trevor for you. They gonna say, "Yo, <laughs> you really from Brooklyn?" We going to get Trevor for you. That's what they. That's what the kids started Yo, saying. You're from Brooklyn. And I that, knew this. That's how I met I really Trevor. I knew Dick. this. Yeah, that's crazy. Nice. Yeah, he's really that's from how Brooklyn. I met Trevor. Dick. Was a three, three, nah, man, I'm from three, South three, Side, Jamaica. No, now talk I get about, it. Talk shit, three. One six four one zero seven. No, uh -oh. but now uh -oh. when I go back to Brooklyn tonight, they're gonna be like New York, New York Boulevard. Man. Ah, 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 New York Boulevard. Now I said it because when I took a picture with you back in the days, it like. Yeah, home team. And I went to school in Brooklyn. So. I said, I said, yo, home team. <laughs> I didn't know what they said about home team. Now nah, I understand Reggie that. Jesse. Nah, yeah. That's my guy. Nah, Reggie oh, funny cool. Reggie Jesse story. Yeah, because yeah, I he bust his shit. ass. Bishop, Bishop Lachlan, freshman orientation. Nigga, I'll get, I get off. I I get off the train. Right. Yeah. We get off the train because Lachlan, you don't have to wear like you got to wear a uniform, but not real uniform. Like you could throw on some khakis, polo shirt. The sneakers got to be black. So, so what we was doing was, <laughs> we was we was getting a polo shirts or whatever. We would throw the collar up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make that shit look good. Yeah. I'm getting off the train. I see my nigga Reg. Reg walking. Reg, remember back in the days, like early days, they used to have the don't the the uh, words on his shirt. Yeah. My nigga Reg had a shirt on. Said, "Don't ask me for shit." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Go to Catholic Word, school. Words of my daughter. <laughs> What's the thing? Parents smoking. Don't ask me for <laughs> shit. <laughs> going going, did, going into that. freshman orientation. I'm like, yo, Reg, the fuck is you? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Please, He's please. like, Ooh, shout out to Reg. Don't say nothing. But at that time, you know, your AAU team, if you went to Catholic school, they typically paid for your uh, tuition. Yeah. yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Worry, worry, at that like time, it. he was That's crazy. Nah, at that time, Reg was a gaucho kid. A lot of people don't know was that. It? Yeah. Me and Reg both played for the shows. I and, seen the roster, and, and then he went called Charlton Clark and all that. Exactly, and then he went to. Then he went to uh, Riverside, but um, a lot of platforms want me to come on and and talk about the shit I went through and what was sure, going on man. back then. Nah, we're going to do it here. Like, Facts. you know what I'm saying? We're going to sit here and Drop do it here for that, Jay. You already and know. talk about all that or whatever and expose what was really going on because it was a lot of hating going on. There was a lot of politics shit going on. I seen a lot of shit. I seen a lot of foul shit. Mm. Molestation, extortion, oh, God. all kind of shit. You Jerry know what I'm saying? Said dusky ass 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 thing. Thing. You know what I mean? So, so that's the best with three of them to me, yeah. and I might be biased because it's Queen. It was you and Ra. Uh, Ra went to Bobby see Boy. this. The, this you is the bad thing. No, Ra did the same shit I did. We went to several schools, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know they went like Main Central or some shit like Ra that. Ra went to Christ the yeah. King, the Main, Main Central. Central. See, like, I know my he went, he went to all, <laughs> but, but, like, but what, like, what a lot of what a lot of people don't know is that me and Ra was supposed to just go to Cardoza. No, it wasn't about Shout just, out the bill. It wasn't it wasn't about just running in the clarity. It was about at that time, that was nice, yeah, yeah. Cardoza was climbing, and Clario fought for his player. So and you were twenty. And, them, no, but they was they nah, was, after was, after was after me. They was after me. Was after Ron fought. Ron yeah, fought for his player. So I would have played. Me and Rod would have played. Like me and Rod would have played with Ricky, twenty Ricky. in Royale. Yeah. Royale. Okay. Me and Rod would have played with Shout twenty Royale, Royale and Showtime. Yeah. 
Melvin yeah. was there but too, yeah. right? Yes, we. They would was younger. Though. They would have still no. Yeah, Melvin is Melvin is my grade. So yeah. me and imagine me, Ra, like Rick, like Charles, Cram, me, Ra, right? Melvin, uh -huh. twenty, Melvin with me and, uh, Royale. Yeah, Melvin was they won the city title regardless, yeah, but yeah. that's where me and Ra was supposed to go. Ra went and to Christ the King. Yeah, I went to Lachlan. I didn't go to Christ the King because they said if you come here, you got to play freshman on JV. I'm like, I'm not playing freshman JV. I've been playing up since I was 12. Yeah, Fuck, I'm going to play against 14 and under four. So that's why I didn't do that. However, when I went to Lachlan, the coach was kind of holding me back, had me on the leash or whatever. Well, and that's the reason I got out of there. Yeah, yeah. I was the best player in the school since a freshman. Mm. I see what was Even after I left, they didn't graduate nobody that was better than me. So wow. what, like, what we talk, and the reason why he did it is because he told my my dad said, "Yo, my son, the best player in your school." <laughs> he was like, "Well, Shout he gonna, to see, he gonna have to try out." He was like, "Oh no, nah, he'll try out." He was like, "I'm still telling you, the best guard in your school." All right, try out. I'm starting as a freshman. Like, giving me minutes. I'm starting, but if I come out in the first quarter and hit four threes. I don't get back in the game to the end of the third quarter. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like some As a sophomore, Chibidoche. same thing. Was, Shout out to Obi Top. It just kept happening, oh, yeah. so it was the reason why I had to well, get out. That's my guy. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying it's a lot of politics involved and all that, but not yeah. blaming nobody because the thing I learned is that a lot of these basketball player niggas is that they only relied on that. I didn't rely on that. Like I'm very educated. Yeah. I'm very Talk well spoken. For that. Uh, the three. I didn't yeah. need yeah. that. Like it was, it would have been a blessing to have it. But these guys, I be seeing that in my era, they be fucked up <laughs> because yeah, all they leaned on was basketball. Yeah, the only thing, up. the yeah. only thing I regret about me playing basketball is that I left three years of eligibility on the table. Mm. And I gave up my gift because I believe in another nigga gift more than mine. Yeah, we gonna spin off for that leverage. That's him. No, that's him. Yeah, he gave up. He gave up his gift for somebody else. I gave up my gift because I believe in somebody else's gift. So this is. I'm gonna end it with this: that don't give up your gift for somebody else's. Donny Carr and Russell. Donny Carr, Donny Carr and Russell. I know my history. Those my guys. I know my history. R.I.P. Russell. I'm saying I know my history. I'm just letting niggas know. R.I.P. Russell. I'm talking about shit. I know my history. Those are my and I got and I got a LaSalle. I got a I got a quick LaSalle. Billy Seagull doesn't equals at the game. Hey, I know my history, nigga. He was there, wasn't he there? Yeah. See, I know my history. So I got a quick LaSalle tidbit. Real quick, and then we gonna go into yeah. both of y'all projects and what y'all. This is this is what made me stop playing. I go to the south. I know I'm not going to start. The freshman, the freshman guard is the head coach's recruit. Mm. Cool, but Donnie's my man, yeah. and Rasul's my man. We done played in like three All Star games together, going into college, like senior year going into college. So the the assistant coach recruited me. Yeah. He said, "Listen." Just come in here, do what you do. I know you better than the guard they bring in. Mm. Don't give a fuck. He's six three, six four. You better than him. So, but if people don't know, when you get to college, before conditioning anything work out, y'all just playing open gym. Yep. So an open gym, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm doing. I'm doing what I do, killing these niggas. <laughs> so now we go into the season. Same thing happened in practices, killing these niggas. Up into the point where it's like the season starts. We play our first game. I played 15, 18 minutes. Second game, I played 20, 25 minutes. I had like 13 points, 14 points. Third game, dialed back. Fourth game, dialed back. I'm like, damn, what's going on? Same shit happened in practice. The, the starting point guard comes to my room and was like, yo, I don't even know how I'm still starting over here. Uh. Like he told me this verbatim, like I don't even know I'm still starting him. Cause it was a point in practice, like I hit him with some shit, I dropped him. Uh, and everybody in practice is like, oh, coach, shut the fuck up, shut up. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So he was kind of like protecting him, but kind of like keeping me on the so I'm like, so it was an assistant coach there that was like, just keep doing what you're doing. Like you tough, whatever. The only get the most minutes I ever played. We played Seton Hall away game at the Meadowlands. 
It's Shout another Lavelle, my God. Lavelle, 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 Lavelle was on that Lavelle team. Lavelle and Shaheem. That's tough, what I got. Yo. Shaheem oh, starting that's point guard. Uh, we should have lost that because Queens is playing on and Brooklyn's playing on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a Jamaican. Lavelle always comes. Nah, Lavelle always. Lavelle always. I'm going to keep it a buck. Lavelle always claimed Brooklyn. All right, cool. Nah, Velo nah, 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 Velo is not. Nah, Velo is not. Nah, Velo is not. Nah, Velo is not. He went to school in Queens. He went to school at Jamaica. Oh, okay. I was arguing with niggas like this. Nah, Velo always came right, Brooklyn. Cool, he right, never cool. mentioned this word. That like, was on TV, I think. Yeah, that yeah, was on TV. I'm not it on tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. What is going on? That was on tape. Bella's so, my guy. Man. Shout out to Bell. He coached Storm point guard turning this shit over, shit in his bag, can't get the ball up. Scared to death of Shaheen. The assistant coach at halftime was like, we need to fucking play him. He's not scared of nobody. Yeah, I played the whole second half. Uh, yeah. We was down 27 yeah. at halftime. We cut the shit all the way down to 11 with me playing the whole second half. Well, it's nothing to be it's nothing to frown upon. That was a tough backcourt. Absolutely. Fella shot. <laughs> but I've been playing against Shaq. I've been playing against Shaq my whole you life. Kids. I looked yes. up to him. Yes. So you think I'm scared to bring the ball up against him? Are you, you kidding me? I know yeah. you I think you have to kill me before y'all take the ball from me. <laughs> so this is what I'm Robert. saying. It's like Ever. it was so political, so yeah. it made me lose my love for what was going on. Yeah. And then a the funny shit happened once I got back to school with the whole ineligibility shit where it's like you could go back and, and fact check this. I was never found ineligible by the NCAA. I was found ineligible by the university. Yeah. And the reason that they, politics. The reason that they did that is because in February, you know who was coming back? Who? He was a prop 48, but you know who was coming back to the team? Who? Rasul Butler, my motherfucking Rasul man. Butler. Yeah. Rest in peace. Who wouldn't Rasul have Butler. dealt with me not playing? Well, yeah. Rest in peace, Rasul. Man. Man. So they declared me ineligible before Sue even came back. Yeah. Because Sue would have been like, seeing what I'm doing yeah, every day yeah, in practice, yeah. it would have been like, how the fuck is he not playing? I could get a point when I want That's to crazy. Oh, that's so, crazy. so, Politics. and that, and that is what buried me. Where it was like, I was like, this shit, like, I'm tired of this shit. And this is something, it was something I've been working for since I was fucking 10 years old yeah. to get to that point. And that happened. It's like, man, fuck this shit. So I come back home or whatever. I start fucking with the music. And one of my best friends was so talented with it. I'm like, I am a fuck with this. And even at that time, I still had schools calling me. Yeah. Like, yo, come here. Come here. I even I even went and worked out for a school. And they was like, nah, why are you here? Yeah. Mm. Like, why are you here, son? You like, you don't, you don't belong here. Like, why are you here? But I believed in my man so much, I was like, man, fuck that school shit. We're gonna go mm. get this money. Up. And, and to you in five months and five months later after I did that I I was able to secure a hundred thousand dollar deal yeah. for my man and eighty thousand for my company that I incorporated uh -huh. so I knew I wasn't on the wrong route I was just on the wrong route with the wrong person on the wrong train kid. you know what I'm saying so that's why I always say it's like J train going to fucking downtown <laughs> don't Brooklyn. give up don't give up what God gifted you with for somebody what he gifted yeah, somebody yeah, else with. Because if I would have stayed with my gift, I, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Nah, facts. I'm gonna yeah. keep it I honest. Thought he, I thought he played like three, four years. We ain't gonna nah, mention nah, we ain't talking nah, about, that's but that's I ain't gonna say that. Nah, nah. I yeah, left yeah, three years. That's she that's why up. people easily forget about me. Yeah. When it comes to I already that. told you. No, no, you know because you was there. Just knows because he was there. You just played the this is why people thing. easily forget about me because I've been all his moves and all that. And I start hitting niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I, I didn't know that you only yeah. played one year. Nah, you can't leave. You can't leave three years. I left three joints on the I, table. I thought Facts. you played three years and you ain't played your fourth year. That's nah, what I thought. I played so I one and bounced. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but real talk, man. We wanted everybody to kind of understand. Your projects that you got coming out. Oh, yeah, man. I got uh, You got to explain Professional Chiller to everybody. That's a whole nother movie. You know what I'm right, saying? So, professional right. Chiller, and then we got to get TL. TL, you got to Project. Yeah. Word. You know all right, that? so let's, let's break it down. So I always was a visionary, like, yeah. from, like a kid. You know that. Yeah. And um, I created that, like, out of boredom. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, professional Chiller? Yes. Out That's of boredom. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I was really supposed to be the first person to ever do a web series. In 2013 so what happened was like after like everybody come from the gym they used to want to come in my apartment and i used to get like frustrated because 
they had all these ideas and nobody put no money to the ideas. It was good ideas, but it was like, mm. like, yo, man, yo, listen, man, when I leave, yeah, I leave, just lock the door, just close the door. <laughs> so as time was going on, I'm like, all right, I'm figuring this shit out because I had to find a way. I'm from the DVD era. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, TL is, is from the CD, DVD era. CD. CD. Yep. And so what happened was I thought it would never end. So a mentor of mine, which is Chuck Wilson from Mammy Grant, he used to always tell me, like, yo, think digital. I didn't understand what that meant. Like, what the mm -hmm. fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really felt like it would never end. And he knew certain things that, like, I didn't know. So he was like, yo, look, he always, like, dig my personality. Like, look, you should do movies, do this, do that. And I'm going to sign you as an artist. And I'm going to give you an A&R job. Wow. That's crazy. Like, That's like, real talk. Like, he was like, yo, your personality is crazy. I want to sign you as an artist. I'm going to give you an A&R job. What five artists would you sign? Right? So I'm going to go with. Like guys I fuck with. I said French Montana, Gilly the Kid, uh Ransom, Raymond the Rap Star, somebody else. Raymond the Rap Star, and you said somebody else. I don't know. That's crazy. I don't remember the first the fifth person. Yeah. Like, you said yo. Gilly, French Montana, Raymond the Rap Rap Star, Ransom. This is like 07 08. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Ransom is killing right and now. You know Gilly said? got the million dollar oh, deal right oh, now. You, you already said? And French is doing him. I never heard of none of them. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's the mixtape era. I know it's 07, 08. It's 07. Not real shit. Like, we're like, we going to do like real. Just Talk real. your shit. Right? You it's like, let yo. people know. I said, what? Like, these niggas, because you know, like, I'm not a hater, bro. Like, like certain things you like gifted with. I feel like him playing ball, he was gifted with that. Facts. I worked at it. Facts. I feel like him rapping, he was gifted at it. I worked Facts. at it. Shit. So even though I had a buzz, I'm like, all right. I'm like, yo, I worked at it. He was really gifted. No question. I'm, not, I'm not a hater, like, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm like, fuck, you never heard of these niggas. Yeah. So the next day, he would be like, yo, I need, yo, what's up? I'm trying to sign ransom and get them. Like, you just said you never heard of them guys. <laughs> like real shit. Like real, yeah. like real shit. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. So like, His feet is dangling, right? Because he's he's like a midget. His feet is dangling like this, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? He's like, yo, he, you know, do the research. Yo, Ransom got 400,000. He was beefing with Joe Bunn at the time. Yes, I remember right? that. They was beefing hard. He was like, yo, set up the meeting. I watched this man give a guy a check, two checks. He never heard him guys music. I swear That's to God. crazy. He gave Ransom a check for like 15,000 for old music. Like, yo, just give me your old, just give me like 10 old songs so he could put it out, whatever. And he gave Gilly a check for 30,000. So called happens. Gilly gets locked up on a weed indictment, like some crazy shit. Five hundred thousand. You can look it up. Five hundred thousand dollars worth of pounds of weed and all that shit. Yeah. So now he's locked up before he gave me what's the name. So now his manager got to sign for the, the check. Yeah. We got to bail him out. I'm up there. Like I drove to Philly because it's my guy. Like he's the no first. Question. No question. Out of town artist that embraced me. Like yo, boy, you nice. Like let's do a record. Yeah. And she just met Allen Iverson. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Because I always was a fan of him because I used to listen to Major Figures before, like Shout games. Shout out to Major yeah. Figures, Dutch Spade. So Gilly. I was like, yep. I'm like, damn, this is like, this is like real, like, and that's why I know like how the music industry is like, it's like smoking mirrors, like it's a lot of facts, a lot like a lot of shit that people don't realize. You so what I was like, kid, you, I know so you even like me and like Sierra right. that I became a fan of his music. I'm like, yo, this thing is nice. Cause I'm not a hater, like yo, I give every nigga the credit. Cause I realized like certain things is like God given talent. And a lot of people like don't understand that. So even like now it's like, I'm like, yo, I got, I got movies coming out. I got certain things. And it's like, I already know the level I could take it because I'm just like, I just think fast. You've been there and you've been around. So you've been like, there. The fact that. of being around is just like, it's like, you just have, you just gotta have like a, a like good sense of humor, you know, your like your personalities. It's like a lot of things, like soundtracks. So you know, I I, you know, I look at like uh like Friday, uh, yeah. like you know Ice Cube, yeah. Keenan Ivory. I'm I'm a I'm a bigger like Keenan Ivory Williams fan because I feel like he never got the credit he deserved. No put his whole family on. So yeah, definitely put for a person that like world. never gave him the just dude that he needed to get, he put everybody on. Yeah. yeah. So I I looked at shit like that from the door. You know what I'm saying? Like yo. Go with Trey. I'm like, where you go with Trey? So I know he knows, like, <laughs> yeah. like where we coming from. 
They're not from that cloth, bro. It's not for you to figure it out, my nigga. I'm not trying to figure it out. Bro. And you don't need to figure it out because they're whores. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want you to like come around me when I'm in the lane. We can go on my hood. But I, like, I've, I'm known, like, I've, I've known people that weren't whores, but they're you gotta understand. No, you gotta understand. There's Money. a lot of guys in Queens that rap and do all that shit. They want the fame. They suck dick, get their butt fucked and oh, all that. God. They're whores, bro. <laughs> Since we oh. in, bro. Hello out there, T. They're whores. Hello, T. Oh, God. What happened? Money's They're a whores. powerful object, bro. All right, now we, we, we got We got to go to... We got to... We're going to get to T.L. We didn't even get to T.L. We're not going to get to T.L. right now because I said they're whores. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with you. All right, cool. As long as you don't disagree with me, I'm not disagreeing. Respect, with, I'm not disagreeing with you, bro. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you. But I'm saying, is my that, mic on? Yeah, 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 on. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. And clear. Boys, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah. is that, and we had this conversation last week. Yeah. You can't do both, bro. That's a fact. You can't. Like, but hold on, hold on. Let me finish. If you in the street yeah. and you're talented, yeah. and you still in the street. You don't believe in your talent. A whole fact. You don't believe. That's a whole fact. Fifth, you don't believe, believe in, in that shit. Like I told you, yeah. that nigga knew he was going to make it in music, man. Facts. I seen it firsthand. Yeah. Yep. Looked in his eyes. He knew. Yep. If not, he would have still been on one, three, four, and God brew pulling cracks out his ass. <laughs> he knew Facts. he was going to win. Shout you got to believe it. A nigga, a nigga who, and I don't even like to go here, a nigga who I believed in. And I gave up my shit yeah. for him. Yeah. He ain't believe. Yeah. So he decided to do some other shit yeah. because he ain't believe. That's you got to believe you're going to win. That's like nobody not going to tell me I can't win. If not, I'm going to do some sucker shit or I'm going to do something for a quick buck. Yeah. Right. Never did that. Niggas be doing shit for money that's not even going to change their life. That's, that's going to pay a that's bill. That's but you but never now, did what that. the fuck are we talking about? Hold on, you never now, did man. that. I want everybody. Ever. I want everybody. Real talk, man. We got to see y'all. Let me like make sure you put my volume on. Like, you you volume. never did that. Volume is on. Bro. They over there, man. I want to talk this shit. Over there, they over there. You see, mom, you never did that. over there, I never will. I was raised by a real one. And this is what I'm trying to tell you because you like you trying to figure out like damn. I'm saying. I'm like, yo, bro, you've never been like that. But the thing is, all this, I'm not. Yeah, that's why TL, he like this. That's why TL Sugar said he went like this. Nah. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm never did such a shit. Not that's why he grabbed the I water. Was, but TL grabbed the water like this. But hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, no, I never you. been a sucker. We got it now, nah, but we got to get to the shit that he never conformed to being a sucker what you about, mean? though. Nah, we need to find yo, out. Yo, let me his, tell you something. Even his, way before he had the beard, when he had the beard, everything you had to endure. As an artist, he still up has no game. facial hair. You know why? <laughs> because he's not with the sucker shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still has no facial hair with a little mustache. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, finish what you gotta say. Right. So now we're gonna put it on TL, man. All this just gave a whole mm -hmm. background of everything that he had to endure mm -hmm. to get to where he is at today. To his new movie that he got, yeah. his series coming Size. out. Size, you know what I'm saying? What did TL had to endure to get to where you are? At today with your Every, new project everything bro like i i yeah. i've been at everything but a coffin mm. everything when it came to this music i have been in everything but a coffin with this and what i mean is i seen the highs you know what i'm saying i was able to to lead the game alone and and, and and be good be in a good space and then i everything crashed on me too and when everything crashed everything crashed uh, you know what i'm saying so i experienced having a deal today we have a deal the deal is done all we got to do is today is friday monday we're gonna meet at 10 o'clock in the morning to go sign the papers uh, and then monday come and god bless dre call me not literally monday but like in that trend yeah god bless dre most call me yo turn on the news now I'm up in the morning waiting for Trey to come get me to yeah. go sign the deal. Yeah. Turn on the news and it's a big raid. Wow. So that kills the deal. Wow. You know what I'm yeah, now so all the shit with the oh with the what? Or oh, murder eight. Oh, so I forgot. I forgot. That was that was oh, so you was gonna be signed to murder eight? The Lambo, the Lambo. The deal deal was done. Done. So this is when Cadillac tied. Everybody was there. What? That deal was a done deal. Nobody knew that. Nah, it's just what I'm saying. Like you got a story that people need to know. That it was a done deal. Like I remember, I want to say the the day the last meeting we had, 
and everything was all right this was agreed upon yeah. i remember me and my lady sitting in front of the crib and we just sat there sipping we uh, brought a bottle of champagne we just sat there all we talking <laughs> about it like yo so where do we want to go like, yeah. where, where do we want to go live because by like another week or two when everything clear we got to start you know where we gonna go yeah. remember that shit that shit with the with the lamp with the, yeah, um, with the uh with, with the, the ferrari. ferrari and everything yeah it, 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 it was the ferrari was in the deal look at the, the ferrari was in the deal that's crazy shit. Shit. And when a, that when that deal crashed i remember i remember still going up there and recording and they told us like yo it's no money like they froze our money wow so i'm talking to my team we told oh. they like yo boy what you want to do i said nah man these niggas show so much love to like still gonna rock with them Fuck it they ain't got Throughout the whole trial yeah, really, and then at the time you know it might have been a little um not smart to do that but we were so good with money on the other side that yeah, it, it did it was like wait, you know what it was like we'll you know what it's right. gonna come up like, yeah we'll be all right yeah we're gonna keep making this music no and question everything will work out so yeah. Long story short, short story to the point that it, it didn't work out. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then we had a deal with BMF. Get the fuck out of here. Word. Uh, uh, this this man, I didn't know. This is what I'm nah, 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 I ain't know this part. Listen to the music that he's thinking. <laughs> we had a ah. deal with BMF. All right. It used to be a club in the city, Cheetah Club. Yeah, Cheetah. Club Cheetah. Shout out to Cheetah. Um, right. Self was DJing this night. Shout out to DJ Self. Uh, Hollywood Chuck Tone Bird, they was promoters on this particular yeah. night. I think it was Cheetah's Monday night, if I'm yeah. mistaken. Yeah. Four anyway, we went in Facts. there. Four Facts. Facts. They let me perform this particular night. Yeah. So I, they, I, I forgot what record they was playing, but I, I remember performing a record, and it was a bunch of dudes sitting behind me, bottled out, yeah. juried out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. we was good, so we just figuring these is more niggas like us. Facts. Not knowing who they were. Who they was. Yeah. So maybe a month after that. Maybe a month, Tone Bird called me. He's like, yo, L, you around? Uh -huh. Me and Tone is cool. So like, I ain't thinking nothing of it. Like, this is not unusual for us to holler and say, what's up? Yeah. I said, yeah, I'm in the peas. He's like, I'm going to pull up on you. Tone pulled up to the projects. He was like, yo, you ever heard of BMF? Get the nah, fuck never out heard of it. Wow. Straight up, like, nah. I'm like, who is that? He was like, you going to find out. The nigga want to sign you. Who? Meech. Meech wanted to sign I said, what do you mean? He said, no, he's the, the man. He wants to sign you. Yeah. So, you know, we did the homework, whatever. And I'm like, they got, you know, Blue Da Vinci, ain't, uh, ain't Jeezy fucking with them. So Jeezy, he broke down yeah. everything. We get two days after that initial meeting, Tone called and said, yeah, they want to bring you out to Atlanta. Find out who's coming with y'all so we could get everything straight. Maybe a, two, three days after that, we was in Atlanta. Wow. So we get to Atlanta. Uh, we up at the hotel, whatever. They got to come see us. You know, basically, I don't want to say chaperone of us, but just making sure everything good. Yeah. So we get to the club, we meet everybody. It was crazy. It was a, basically a done deal. Yeah. We went through the whole process of it. This was all within a three week span. All of this wow. happened. Now, this is where y'all gonna get fucked up at. Remember what I told you about the murder angle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get a meeting with Meach, the W Hotel in the city. Get the fuck out Listen, of here. We come wow. back from Atlanta. Meeting goes on in the W Hotel maybe four days after we leave Atlanta. They just wanted to see me in person to see how I am. Fuck them, we ain't recording Atlanta, nothing music. The they just wanted out. to feel my vibe. We yeah, hung yeah, out, yeah. so they made the call. Yeah, he's the one we, we got. Wow, so he comes to New York at the W Hotel. They go up to the W Hotel, everything is there. The guy is a lighty brother, was a president of Atlantic or something like that. One of the lighties, Mike, not Mike, Mike Chris. was in the G unit. No, not Chris, Dave Lighty. Dave, Dave Lighty, Dave yes. Lighty. Yes. yes, he was in the mirror and. I want to say, I don't want to get it twisted, but it was something to the point of what you want to meet. I don't want your money, you just want the imprint. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need the money, we just want to get the imprint of Atlantic on BMF. Like, you know. Get the fuck out. So they said, what's going to be the your, your, your rollout, so to say? Now, Blue is going to come out. I think at the time it was maybe this meeting happened, I want to say early May. He was like, yo, we're going to get Blue out by late June, early July. We're gonna get TL for September. Mm. Like we're gonna have a record out. Whether it was a single or whatever it is, that I don't know those particulars, but we're gonna have a record out on by September. Man. So call them. They can get out that meeting. They can call right out, maybe like an hour or two after that. Yo, uh such and such is gonna call y'all. We need a name of everybody that's coming. We flying everybody to Miami. We doing a big thing in Miami. TL, welcome to BMF. It's gonna be laid out. It's gonna be in another week. So just get all the names. So we scrambling, getting names. We got maybe about 20, 25 people going. 
the so they like, yo, everything is flights, everything taken care of. Just send the names in. So the day, two, three days before we go to Miami, we'll have another news. Niggas get raided. So I was like, that's that's what crashed me. And Damn, then God. right after that, though, right after that, that was what was that? Oh six, I think, or oh seven. Mm-hmm. So we had we was on tour, so shit was going good. That was 07. That was 07. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was 07. Because you went away with Scrappy right yeah, after that. Yeah, I was that. right on I was on the tour with Scrappy and I'm right after that. Scrappy, Scrappy seen yeah. me on the DVD mm-hmm. and asked to do it. Uh, Marcus was his road manager. Mm-hmm. Marcus is from Queen. Mm-hmm. So he asked him, yo, who is this? This nigga say he's from New York. He from your hood. You don't know him, whatever. Yeah. And they reached out and nigga called him. He's like, yo, can y'all get down to DC tonight? He's like, hell yeah. We wow. get down there, we do the show, and we was on tour with him from that. Mm. So a, a little, maybe a year later, everything was going good. We making money, we traveling, we on tour, and then everything just went crashing after that. So you know what I mean? It, it kind of put crazy. me in a like I lost my brother, I lost Dre, and the shit just rest in peace. It just tail spinning. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, Vegas. like it was it was crazy. Like it, it just got crazy. It got dark. Yeah. I want to say like that happened in '09, from '09 to '13, '14. I can't remember anything. Like people asked me, like, yo, I was like, I don't remember that. It was like, yo, this was 2012. You know, nah, I don't remember that. All I remember every day was just dark. Every day was dark. And the reason, and the reason, and the reason. I reason, remember that shit too. And the I reason, reason at the funeral, bro. Like, yeah. that shit fuck man. Trey was in Jamaica with me, man. He was younger Trey than me. Was a man. good man. nigga, son. Man. And not and that just, shit fucked me up. As I was thinking, my mother, we were talking about this the other day. I was like, damn, man, that nigga Dre most, man. Remember we was on the phone? I said, man, I love that nigga Dre most, wow. bro. And, and, and just did. to elaborate on nigga, bro. elaborate on everything L just said, it's like um, I just feel like it's destined. I feel like you don't get put through this type of shit not yeah, to win. That's a fact. Like even the shit that me and my brother Jay been through personally, yeah. and we still here, still grinding, still at it. Yeah, I feel like the big door is gonna open. I call it the big door. It's a whole fact. The big door is gonna open, and the, like me and Jay. Rock solid with L. That's I don't want to be like on some home team shit, but this is my guy. We've known each other since since we was kids. kids. Wow. And I just feel like he wouldn't still be here making quality music and raised his son to be a man and mm-hmm. the big door not going to open for him. Mm-hmm. And I just always told him, like, you'll just stay down, stay committed, and keep grinding the same shit I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because we could have been quit a long time ago. Wow. We could have went fact. back to the block a long time ago. We could have said fan. fuck this shit a long time ago. So my thing is like you gotta stay down and stay committed. And I keep saying that if you don't believe that you're gonna win, you're not gonna win, nigga. Yeah, I don't give a fuck who you are. That's a whole fact. It don't matter what it is you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. If you don't believe that you're gonna do it, you're not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. So you gonna go double dutch and do some other sucker shit or do something to get a fast buck. Mm-hmm. That fast buck is not, I'm never doing nothing to compromise my integrity mm-hmm. or something that's not gonna change my life. Old a fact. lick is not going to change my life. A whole fact. I can't leave a lick behind for my daughter, yep. but I can leave a business behind for her. That's a whole fact. You know what I'm saying? I can leave a will behind with any assets, money that I didn't gain for her. Mm-hmm. But going to bust a move with a nigga to get a hundred thousand? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna spend that shit in a couple of months. <laughs> that's a, a whole word. fact. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Like, yeah. nah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah. So that's why I respect guys like see, I respect guys like all this Michaels. And plenty of others. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Young Pretty Syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to a lot of niggas that's yeah. doing what they do because you gotta stay down and stay committed to what you're doing. That's a whole fact. Like with Stills with this balls and hoops radio. That's that one reason why I want to come definitely, because it's definitely it's definitely up this shit from the last mm-hmm. I was like what two years ago, right? Yeah, two years ago. But, right. but he had a vision that only he believed in. Word up. Word. And made it come to reality, and now more people is on board. But that's what it's about. From the that's basement. From the basement. From the basement. Word, right, 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 Jay? The basement. My basement. Basement. Yeah. The thing Jay is, even came down. Yo, Jay, tell everybody your story. Word the mother. I'm good. 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 i am I think that's my biggest gift more than music, more than writing music. I have a delusional confidence. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like a but I was delusion. mad at you, though. What happened? I'm going to tell you why I was mad at you. Put the camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you I was mad at you. Yeah. It's because y'all niggas had a deal on the table and y'all turned it down. 
I understand why y'all turned it down. Mm -hmm. It's one of the same reasons why y'all wonder why we took our first deal. Yeah, yeah. But that's to get you in the game. Mm -hmm. Once you in the game, it's free play. Facts. Whether well, the, that, whether what hold on let me, yeah. whether the deal is good or bad, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. who the fuck wants to sign? Like, we signed with Flavor Union and Queen Latifah. Yeah, yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Cut but out. but hold on, hold Talk on. about it. But it got us in a game. It got homie multiple situations and opportunities. Mm -hmm. So that deal would have got you in the game mm -hmm. where Clive Davis would have been like, what happened to that guy that he signed? What he happened? Didn't believe, just, hold on, hold on. The same thing happened with Eve. She was already signed to Universal. Yeah, Not nah, Interscope, I'm sorry. Yeah. She was signed to Interscope. And they didn't know what to do with her. So it got her in a game, though. That's why I'm saying it's like, I wish y'all would have took that deal because I think your whole trajectory would have changed yeah. had y'all took that Irv Gotti deal mm -hmm. that he put on the table, whether you loved it or you hated it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, I ju it's just to get that, you through the door. At that time, it was more... Um, it wasn't as as straight cut like raw and cut like that it was other factors going in that was beyond me absolutely you know i know saying? that so with those factors i just trusted the process and that and at that time it allowed me to be an artist and kind of find myself even though people was was rocking with me i still ain't find myself as an artist like i couldn't i didn't really know I, this direction go. i was just going off a natural vibe of just writing and rapping so with, when that when that deal did get turned down, I understood from the team I had what they explained to me. I understood it. Now, did I want the deal? Did they want the deal? Absolutely. Everybody wanted the deal. It got turned down for reason at that time that I understood. I think it got turned down for personal shit. Could have been. I never know that for a fact. I don't know. It could have been though. You know what I'm saying? It, it could. It could have been. But then again, it could have been. A lot to do with the business behind that deal. Yeah, definitely. That 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 people just was like, that's not gonna be good business. But so, what what I always thought, I I didn't think that at that time, I didn't think that that deal would have been Mace out the park deal. Yeah, yeah. But I think it would have been Nori. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. Deal. Yeah, it could have been. It that that's been. what I always thought because I always believed in you. Yeah, that's a fact. That's so a that's fact. what I always thought. Where it was like. When niggas was hitting me, like, why would y'all take that deal over it? They quiet. They ain't doing nothing. Nigga, we got to get in the game. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get in the game in order to reap the benefits of what the game has. And, and you know in, what I'm and, saying? And in hindsight, I think everybody that was involved on my side will, can't, will at this point look back and say, yeah, we could have we could have hustled that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we could have used our natural hustle instincts and hustled that. But at that time, I just think that we were all seeing something different. Absolutely, it wasn't, it wasn't matching what that deal offered us. My you know nigga, I mean? <laughs> niggas on the road eat baloney sandwiches. That's my nigga, practice. niggas could have made <laughs> niggas could have made that deal. Niggas could have made that bad, shit. Work. That's why when niggas mad at us for taking our deal, yeah, I was I like, I, I was like, like are y'all kidding me? Like, like, <laughs> but I understood why y'all even talking to homie when when he was you know the the, the artist. I would talk to him and be like. All right, nigga, like, nigga, better than everybody. We in the source, there. we on Apollo, we in that lane, we, you know what I'm saying? We on movie soundtracks, yeah. we on, so it's that like, yeah, like, you got to get in it. This is to any younger artist listening. Yeah. You got to get in the game in order to get traction, in yeah. order to get leverage, order to score. in order to score. Yeah. You, if you ain't on the court, you can't score. Mm -hmm. It don't matter how nice you are. Yeah. Don't matter how nice yeah, you are. That's a fact. If you don't get on the court, you can't score. And all and all younger artists, please, 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 if you're watching this, take heed to that. Like the best thing you could do for you and your family is be in the best position to take care of you and your family. Absolutely. Whole fact. You know that's what I'm a saying? Whole fact. Now, that's well, whole well, however y'all want to interpret that, just know first thing come, especially like I had a kid young. That's your number one priority. I don't know for how you feel, and this is something that I didn't understand at that time. Yeah. But being a, a a more seasoned, older artist now, the best thing you can do for you and your family is secure the bag for you and your family. Everybody else is just a 
I got y'all. For all the youngers you know out there, listen, yeah. that's a jewel. That's a fact. Right. Word, man. But yo, Arliss, man, I know you got to breathe soon, man. I wanted you to say, you know, goodbye to the people, man, before you get out of here. Yo, man, Let yeah. everybody know where to go to support your movement and everything that you're doing right now. Besides, be out uh, first week of March. It's on Tubi. You know, my guy's going to be in it. Last, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be a lawyer. <laughs> I had to get him in here. When he hit me, <laughs> out. I, when he hit me out. I said, yo, this is perfect. The uh, timing is right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I worked real hard on it. I worked on it for a whole year. Shout out to TL, like, been legendary. That's mm -hmm. dope. I got classic joints with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. like, I just felt good. Like, in life, like, you know, you know, I'm blessed to be around great people, man. So thank fact, you, thank man, you for coming through, bro. Salute to you, man. Bro. I, I need that invite to the permit. You heard? No, man. You heard? We're going to do that jazz spot. Yes, you know what I mean? Uh, exactly. We live. We live. All, right. All, right. All I need is everybody, too. That's why you got it. Yeah, that's my yeah. big bro right there. Watch yeah. when you see, watch when you see him kill it. You know, he killed the yeah. show. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, that. I'm very we happy. Shout out to Jazz. He held us down last week, too. Yeah. Right? You know what what was the week so, before that, right? You know, no, like, we just hold that. my sons down. They play basketball. So, you know, like, they'll be back out here this summer. So, we are playing with them at MTG. So, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just grateful, man. Like, I appreciate all you guys. Oh man, appreciate you. A lot of people might not give credit what credit is deserved, but I'm gonna do that. No so, question, no, no doubt, question. no doubt, no, 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 like no that's, off that's season, mate. No off season no podcast, real, like, bars and hoops. Yeah. All this Michaels, man. It's my yeah, guy. So, you right know, here. like, you know, like, like. So when I looked at the joint for a person I never met, and how much he slew to me when he was sitting on the same couch as him, like, damn, I never even met this guy. Mm. Well, you know, I, I know him, of course, and I know you. But you talking about our last interview with uh? I don't know. So him. rich, I never, I never met him. So, but oh, that's so I'm, rich. Yeah, but, 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 but hold on, name. It, it it speaks but value. But it speaks it volumes to you. Yeah, that's the person you never met. Your name is speaking yeah. so highly of you. Yeah, OG I never told me. Never met him. I told OG him that. Told I said, me, "Yo, who's son?" Your and I didn't realize that was my man, man. And it remains there after you. Facts. So when I looked at him, I was like, "Damn, I don't even know who that is," but. But bro, Man, that, that's it's nah, more, it's more than just him. Nah, I'm just, I be <laughs> into in, in bumping courses with people it. and they and they tell me, but that's what it is. Good. What your name carries when you're not here no more. That's what good. is what matters, bro. That's so, good. I'll say it again, you know what I'm that's saying? Good. Man. That's oh, good. good. He told me. So, <laughs> shout out to I, that, I was like, yo, that was. I thought that was. That was like. I be like, bro, all bro. all this put me on his son. He said, all this brought me this kid. I said, damn. You know what I mean? Because you know I got I was gonna do the roll shuffle. Yeah. As long as I stretch my knees. Yeah. yeah. You know so what he said, I said, that's my guy. Facts. Yeah, that was real. Because then I hit me up. I was like, yo, bro. We never met each other, but I respect him. He did like nah, 10 years. He did 10 joints, he bro. said, yo, came home. I respect your ground. He said, yo, you put on for the city. That was dope. Word I thought that was real dope. Your name get there before. My you thing is I always say, like, Lord, you say after you go. Like, you know, and that means like wherever the city I go. And make my presence felt. I always say that's my, my slogan, load the city up. So whatever city and state you go to, you gotta make sure your presence felt. So that's always been my second home. Let me tell you, I went to school with like best friends, like yo, TL. Yeah. <laughs> like for a little bit of time, because I went to five high school, but yeah. they always like <laughs> mentioning, like him and Mookie, they like, yo. Shout out to Mookie. So now I knew I was like, yo, this is official. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I respect it. Now he's talking about the brief work. They always told me that. I didn't believe it until he said it. Now I know he's a yeah, fish from the claim borough. BK. I know that. Claim now. You BK. Now I know that. Claim you BK, they told bro. me that, but I didn't believe it. I said he's from Queens. Those, those wars in brief work helped me, man. Watch like, when I, I send the message tomorrow when I had travelings in China. Yo. I'm not from there, I, though. <laughs> yeah. not doing Yo, they said he was from there. Yeah, I said, yo, that. you're lying. He's <laughs> from Queens. South now side. I know. South side. <laughs> not nah, from Brie Boy. Yeah. He said, yo, Always. he's from Brie Boy. I watched him with the same sex. Mm. From South side, man. Travis, 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 Travis is my guy. He's from Brie Boy. Sport, sport, mediocre special. Mediocre special. He said he was mediocre on the court. I ain't say that three said it. They said he was from. They said he was from Greenwood. I didn't call him. Now he said it. I like this. Not from, <laughs> not from Green Boy. Shout out, Uncle, shout out, Uncle Derek. Yeah. R.I.P. Mr. Diggs. All that. We shout good. Out. All this is out. Yo. We got T.L. for another twenty minutes, and we gonna um, we, we gonna move on, and we out of here. But thank y'all for staying locked in with us, man. This is no off season. 
Still was the great man. Like DJ J O J man. Bro, yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to DJ J O J for that mini mix. J O was you coming through in the clutch, man. Word up, man. You was tearing sapphire up too, Jay. I gotta give you your flowers while you were put the camera on Jay, man. We gotta get Jay his flowers. Jay tore Sapphire down for the no off seasons. Mm. Yeah. Launch yep. party that we had there. You know what I'm saying? Jay held it down. Both Jays. Yes. Superstar Jay and DJ J O J. You did your That's thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Deadly combination right there. Yeah. Yeah. It was you know a nice saying? look in there, too. It was a nice look in there, yeah. man. Yep. Nice look. Shout out to everybody that supported the platform and supported what we did that night, man. For real, man. So we back to the tail end of the show, man. We in overtime right now. We in definitely, we definitely got, in overtime, man. We got CL here. Wow. We, we had all this Michaels here. We in a little bit of overtime, but yeah. it's always worth it when the you know the content is there and Absolutely. we wanted all us to get his story out. We still got TL here remaining, and we gonna let him elaborate on his story. Like yeah. it's not really some home team shit, but this is my guy. Right. And um <laughs> <laughs> he been at it for a minute the same way I feel like I've been at it for a minute yes, yeah. but we not old we seasoned you know mm -hmm. That's right. so we gonna pick up from the last story and he's gonna he's not gonna talk about the past he's gonna talk about where he's going from here on Yeah. so L you got a new project coming out mm -hmm. how do you feel about the state of rap hip hop right now and where do you fit in in all of this shit? Talk about I, think, I think rap right now um, I think it's in a great place if you look into number one, make money, and number two, explore using rap as that bottom level, so to say, stepping stone to do things that in your mind you probably always wanted to do. Musically, I think it's in an interesting place. I think right now, music is is no set. Oh, this is real rap. Well, this is rap. It's none of that. It's just, so you don't fall on none of that. Nah, I think I think musically, with with so many artists and 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 different genres of rap, I just think that it's something that we never experienced before. Like you know, what I'm, like you have they say this is real rap, and these niggas say nah, this is real rap. I just think it's so many genres. It's in a space to where you could just enjoy what you like. No question. You dig know what I'm saying? No so that's what that's what kind of like inspired this new project i got toast I, I feel like um this is a project that my supporters not only always wanted from me but they deserve to get this because they they supported me like i was telling you through the darkest times they were still like l we riding with you you know what i'm saying and still playing music when i ain't even had music out we just play l we riding with you so this this project is more for those who feel like Nah, nigga, like you, or, or nah, sweetie, like you love to have fun and celebrate like this. This is the type of vibe you like to be on. This is what I'm providing you right here, music. No doubt. So, Toast, Toast is a celebration album for me that um, it's been a, a couple years in the making. And this is one of the albums I had the most fun making. Like, 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 literally every session was a party. Every session on this album was a party. Mm -hmm. So, I think people is really going, they're going to get to see a side of me that you have to know me to Personally. be like, yeah, that's him. Well, you know right. what I'm saying? So they, they're going, they're going to get to see it and, and still, still sharp, still sharp with the bars. I'm a New York dude. So, you know, that's our mm -hmm. thing anyway. Mm -hmm. But I think musically, I, I, I kind of, what I did with dreams from a project window, I kind of stayed the course of that and gave it from the toast version of it. If that makes any sense. No, um, no. Um, <laughs> I've had the I have the pleasure of um hearing the album already. Mm -hmm. So what I can say is that the content is there, the lyricism is there, the production is there, the awareness is there. So again, it seemed like you had fun on this shit. Yeah. And I think that that's when you create that's when artists create their best material when it's that it's organic, it's okay. fun, it's you know what I mean? You you talking about your experiences. You're not just drawing from a blank page where right. you don't have nothing to talk about. And my thing is that I just want my me personally, and it's not no home team shit. I just think that the world needs to hear how good that this guy is yeah. putting words to fucking beats. Mm -hmm. No question. You know what I mean? So it's like that's why I love the project. Yeah. Now we have it's some visuals coming along with it. Yeah. 
and you got to tap into that with yourself. But I think that you tap back into what you're doing. And I, I, I remember telling T. Ellis years ago, I was like, it would be a shame if the world never heard you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not, not me hearing you, still hearing you, JLJ. It would be a shame if the world never heard you. Mm. So with this project and everything else that this guy has done, I think the world needs to hear it. No question. Yeah. No Regardless question. of how you feel, at least hear it. No question. <laughs> and when you hear it, I promise you, you're going to be like, yo, yo, let's go out tonight. <laughs> that's, it, that's what this project is gonna do. Like, like it's gonna be like, yo, yeah. what you doing tonight? He he got a he got a he got a ball from three projects ago. I'm at a dice game. I hit a lick mm. for wherever nigga going tonight. <laughs> that's a fact. I hit a lick for <laughs> wherever we going, going tonight. tonight. <laughs> facts. That's a fact. So how real is that? Yeah. Facts. And that's what this toast is. Yeah, bro. I hit, you. you know what I mean? So it's like that's for me personally, that's what I want to hear. I yeah. want to hear that real shit. No question. No I don't, you know what I mean? And all that, gonna let you know. Yeah, I like know. that's oh, a whole yeah. fact. Yeah, I, I, I love a guy, he's a he's yeah. a heavy critic. Kid. I love it all. Yeah, but I want to hear some shit I can relate to. No question. No I want question. to hear some shit that's gonna hit my soul mm. or that I can relate to. So, like I said. That I hit a lick for wherever nigga going at night. <laughs> that shit was five <laughs> projects ago because I didn't hit a lick before, and I'm like, Jay, yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we going wherever, yeah. nigga. Like, <laughs> we, 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 we going. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, like yeah. where we going? Yeah. We can yeah. go wherever, nigga. <laughs> so when he said that, I felt it. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the music I love. Yeah. So shout yeah. out to Jeezy, shout out to Ross, yeah. shout out to the guys that make that music that. And they inspire me. Yeah, crazy, like that bro. get into your wow. veins, get into your question. soul, because yeah. at the end of the day, music is so totally subjective. So what I might think is whack, mm -hmm. the youngest might love it. What yeah. I might think is hot, the youngest might not love it. Like, mm -hmm. I've been on my King Disease 3 shit for, for the past minute. two yeah. months. The mother. Yeah. Shout out to none. The youngest ain't going to love that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Word. So before we get to that, and I'm glad you put that out there, right? <laughs> So, so TL, I ask this to every artist that come through here, right? Yeah. So, we understand you got the Toast Project out now. Mm -hmm. So, let's just say your last project was a dream project. Dream from the, uh, a dream project for you to work with any producer. Uh -huh. One producer, one featured artist. Uh -huh. What would that project look like? Who would it be? But let's be clear, one producer, one producer that all lie. One, one producer, producer, one producer, one featured, one featured artist. artist. Damn. One producer. One producer. Like how Nas found Hit Boy and Hit Boy done gave him a fountain of youth. Yeah. If you have one producer to work with, kid, and one featured artist, who would it be? If I had one producer to work with. I'm gonna throw y'all for a loop with this. Okay, one, I'm, 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 I want to hear I, this. I, I know, I know he gonna capture my vibe of today's music, though. Okay, it would be Diddy, Puff, fast. So I said I'm gonna throw y'all for a loop. I'm telling you. Oh shit, yeah, Puffy made some joints. I'm telling still you, Puff, man. yo. I'm yeah. telling you, he probably the first one that said Puff. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why though. That is interesting. I'm gonna tell you why because he focuses on the bag too. I'm tell you why I say that. He's gonna come in with the energy as the producer, as the gassing you up, putting that 93 super on yeah. you. He's gonna come in with all of that. Yeah. And I'm gonna come in with my yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah after yeah. you say your so, other thing, I'm gonna give you mine. Look, for you. So, but, <laughs> for him. And, how you gonna tell him food for and him though? No, three. A, I know. Producer, how you gonna do that? With a I producer know. like Diddy, I think that he would really understand where I'm going with whatever ideas that I present to him. Yeah. And I know people say, yo, but he don't produce. He got, I don't know what he do. He make that shit a hit. That's a fact. You dig what I'm saying? That's and then fact. as an artist, if there's an artist I could work with right now, um, Wayne. Wayne? Yeah. Weezy? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's an interesting yeah. combination. Wayne. It's Wayne. Wayne. I, I, yo, he one of my favorites. No way. If I had, if I had one artist to get, I know New York niggas like, how you go to it? Listen, I like what I like. like yeah. way, nah, and then I like, I like, I, I never, I never really, I never looked at myself 
as um a rapper rapper like like no disrespect to that but what i mean by that is always just want to rap always yeah. at, at any yeah. moment blah, 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 blah. i didn't i didn't feel like i had that yeah. I, I didn't feel like i possessed that on the spot no, no, no i got a hundred bars yeah, yeah, i didn't really yeah. had it i just like to talk shit. you're yeah. a writer and, yeah yeah you're more a writer, of a writer, writer. And, I, and i like okay. to just yo this is a mood i mean I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk my shit. and i think wayne uh i think that he'll bring that side out of me yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. like 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 i've been through an artist god bless him that that was that oh every time i got with him he brought that out of me and that was stack stack bundle rest in peace always stack, brought bro. that shit out sure. of me like i don't even know if he knew it deliberately but with him he was just his energy and he always was ready he th he thought he was a rapper but he was really a writer yeah but his energy that he yeah. came across it was i'm he going and i used to love that shit like oh i'm going too yeah, you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, so yeah, i yeah. somebody like when it's a, and, and that's not to say like like just regard to any other artist it's just inside of me musically that that i ain't never really tap into that yeah. when i did tap into it a few times I really liked that shit and enjoyed it. So Wayne is somebody. So that would be somebody like that. Uh, Diddy and that's Wayne. Right. Right. Diddy and Wayne. That's an ill combination. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Though. Yeah, that's a lot of money <laughs> right there. That's, right. that's a lot of money. That's the key. Word, <laughs> that's a big bag. And at least the last one for me, like I said, me three and Superstar J. Shout out to Superstar J. We had this debate, right? Seeing Nas pull off this KD series. Mm -hmm. Three albums plus the what was the other one? Magic. Magic. Magic was thrown in there. Where would you place Nas as far as goats is concerned? Would you place him ahead of Jay? No. Or would he still be behind Jay? Because the masses believe Jay is this yeah. pinnacle up here and nobody else can touch him. Mm -hmm. You as an artist and as a as a hip hop fan, yeah. where would you place Nas? I'm a I'm a preference. I'm gonna preference it by saying I had the best Nas feature ever in hip hop history. Talk about it. The best, I, I, not feature. I use, you know how people sample artists? Yes. I think in hip hop history, anybody that sampled Nas, I think I had the best one with Casualties of War. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just preference it with that. And I, I always been mad. Jay this gonna pull that up. Pull that up, Jay. I, I, I know you pull that up. I always been mad at the fact that Nas, I'm from Queens, I'm from Southside, dude. And I know you heard that record. And it was never like, give me a give me a thumbs up emoji. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, hold on, Al. Got three. Talk your shit. It's coming. <laughs> Talk your it's shit, coming. three. It's coming. So, Let's go. Three D been working. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, coming. I'm gonna go back son, to the son. To answer. I think I think right now, until it's gonna be an incomplete answer until Jay put out another project. Cause this series of King's Disease, I'm like, nigga, that's Esco. I don't think Jay could do it. And soon, nah, he could do it. Nah, he could do it. Yeah, he could do Jay it. Jay could do it. Yeah, you I bugging? No, you Three. bugging? You bugging if you that think Jay could do it at this point? You bugging if you think he can? A whole Niggas project. Thought Nas couldn't do it until King's nah, Disease. Nas, 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 Nas. Um. Don't hate me for this. I know uh, what you about to say. You got me looking at you like, what? <laughs> where you going? Where you going with this? Three? <laughs> Nas, Nas is the better MC. Man. Like that's all. I, that's all. He's I the mean. better MC. Nas is the better MC, man. Jay might be the better artist. And Wordsmith. Yeah, Jay might be the better artist. And um, Chameleon. I could agree with that. But Nas, I is, agree with that. Nas is Nas is by far. The better MC man, it's no reason why this guy is the nigga just gave us three projects in a row. Facts and, and, that and the bar, the bar, the call, bar is oh crazy. God. Like it's just different, man. So I don't know if Jay is just motivated by like I said, Jay is the king of music business. Nas the king of music, music. Like that nigga, as far as the MC, like he's different. Like it. Like what are we talking about? Like but yeah. three, you gotta reminisce. Hope that that uh, that I'm telling you, your opinion though, we gotta see what Jay Z do because I Jay -Z could hasn't done nothing. as an artist. I I could kind of get a sense of what he about to drop some. All right, so so, like so, so 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 he gonna drop yeah. a project. All right, he, so, 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 so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What's Jay's last project, L? He what, ain't gonna it? be able to four, tell four, you. Four, four. Yes, four, that's four, his four. last project. Or, or you gonna count the album with Beyonce? Nah, which four, four, four. No, no, four, four, which four. Was super underrated. I love, underrated. I love that album. Oh, that was, uh, I, love that album. I love that um, album. I love that album. With Beyonce, that whole album was I love, super underrated. I love that album. Super. I love underrated. that album. That but boy was spilling on that. album. I love that album. He was spilling. When it came out, we in twenty twenty three. That shit came out nineteen. <laughs> that came out twenty nineteen. That album. <laughs> So what well, are we talking Beyonce about? To Beyonce. Right. Yeah, so this is my thing. What are we talking about? <laughs> but then before King's Disease, one was not last album, 2019. Mm. But he put he gave us four joints. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gave us four joints in two years. Back to back. I'm telling you, Esco is the goat of all goats when it, especially when it comes out of Borough. He's Billy Goat. So he's a goat. He's Billy Goat. And I think he the flyest rapper ever. Talk about it. Straight up. I think he why is and, it, and this is why he get more kudos. But I think <laughs> that I think that I'm gonna hold my complete opinion until we get this album from Jay Z. Yeah, what Jay -Z. album? He got, he, got he got one more. He got one more. Yeah, I, think, I, I, think, I, think, I think he's I'm done. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, I think right? he's done. Yeah. Why well, he done? He gotta come out with one. He I'm, done. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna nah, say this. I'm gonna say this before. before May. That dude gonna have an album. You think so? May? He gonna turn this summer Ooh, upside no. down. Nah. Why, why? I, okay. did, I didn't have to die for niggas to call me the great one. Yeah. <laughs> After one album, mm. that's it. Like, what are we talking about, <laughs> man? Yeah, okay. Like he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to do all well, the extra curricular activities that's for it. Like, whatever, whatever you indulge in, whatever you uh. like, but. Nas can't be discluded. Like Jay Z, Jay Z is the ultimate chameleon. Whatever's going on, he can tap into it and morph himself into it and do That's it. That's not and, a bad thing. No, yeah. it's not. It's yeah. not. It's definitely not bad because a few of my top ten are in there. Jay Z, mm. LL, yeah. super chameleons. You know what I mean? But as booth. far they, as they all in that booth, Where I don't. Know? I don't think he has anything else to talk about. Nah, I disagree. I think he doesn't have anything to talk. I think that Nas found Hit Boy Fountain of Youth and like Fountain of Youth. he's talking about a lot of shit is going on. And you gotta understand, it's about who you are. No matter are you the greatest rapper, the worst rapper, it's about who you are. Jay Z is not willing to give that much of himself up that Nas gave up. Nas is giving up who he is. I don't think Jay want to give that up. Jay don't want to give you. If I was 16 years old, knocking down a 22 year old, mm -hmm. he don't want to give you that. Nas is Nas is giving you that. But he might be forced to. No, That's but what I'm saying is that Nas to. is giving us that. Yeah, she kind of looked like Sheila E. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like she could be 20 years old easily. Her name was Owell. Oh I don't kiss and tell, but Owell. Oh <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Jay's not giving us that. Nah, not. It's the same way where I said, like, Jay's not going to give you a story to tell. Yeah, that's Jay's right. not going to give you a fucking you tonight. Nah. That's just not who he is that's as a person. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah. got to respect that. Fact. And this is why, son. Yeah. From Queensbridge. <laughs> it's an ill nigga. Yo, three, but I, like, I, we gotta I, understand I, I, that. I, I gotta yeah. say, you know, we on bars and hoops. Let's so go. Let's go. go. Let's go. go. We Let's gonna, go. It's like we was hooping. You know, and you was a, a killer. Mm -hmm. You know damn well the nigga said they talking and you hearing all this talk. Yo, you hear. Yo, you heard about microphone man? Now who that? Yo, that nigga just put out. That nigga just killed nigga. He was in the tournament killer. Yeah. You know you were sitting there like, oh, that's who they talking about. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. I'm about to do. Oh, I got a game tomorrow. Niggas in trouble. I don't even know microphone man, but just because they talking about it, yeah, yeah. I'm about to. Whoever I'm going against tomorrow, you got to pay the price. That mama mentality. Uh, I believe cold was. Of piece of coke Remember how cold was? I yeah, believe, we just I passed believe, the anniversary. I believe, I believe that. That's how I think Jay Z is. Mine is going right now. <laughs> oh, salute the like, cause I I'm quite sure amongst they circle, it's nothing bad you could say about Kings, especially part three. Yeah, I true. guarantee you, he's right. niggas is like yo Jay or whatever they call him. Yo, <laughs> boy, hey, like, oh. hey, listen, boy, album. But we had a like, we had a okay. conversation around that. We said okay. 
we said, do we think that the King's Disease series would influence Jay or definitely influence him? Do it about a killer. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Change I don't know. Mentality. I don't. I that don't, nigga been I'm a, quiet. Still, I got the like, June. If you like, like you a killer on the court, right? Yeah. If a nigga is going at you, even if you like, yo, man, I ain't really gonna play yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is gonna kick in. Yeah, yeah, facts. Like I'm oh. a killer. Like yeah, I yeah. can't turn this off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. You could try to, <laughs> you could try to say I'm chilling today. <laughs> yo, I ain't coming here for today. I'm with my family. Yeah, I ain't coming yeah, here for this yeah, shit. Yeah. This nigga got one more time to say something. <laughs> I'm sending the wife and the kids home and move it. Go home, cause this shit about to get ugly. You can't change Jay mindset. He's a killer. <laughs> all I'm, all I'm, I'm telling you. I hope. You. All I'm, I'm right. saying. I hope. He got a that, bunch man. of Boski outs around the yeah, club. We say he got the June, right? Huh? June or July? He got the June or July? I'm June. June. Right June? in time for summer. <laughs> Right in time for summer jam. Right in time for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, I'm, all, yeah. everything. all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say to that. Rock the bells. Say to that fact, yeah. All I'm gonna say to that fact is that I don't think Sun has any more to talk about. Oh, you're not outside. Oh, you're not outside. Oh, Kill it all. He too busy hanging. Yeah. You know what you gonna do? You know what you're gonna do? do? Basquiat, like, man, Esco, Esco, Esco's not married. Oh. Esco ain't got a tuck in his daughter and two twins. You heard? Esco's outside. You know that's gonna cause sweet chick. I'm gonna I'm I'm say, I'm gonna end it like this. The last thing you know what that's gonna cause him to do? What up? Yo, man, I'm gonna put the maid back in the garage, <laughs> put the sprinter trucks up, <laughs> throw back on these cars, <laughs> and these Tims, jump in that new big seven. It don't matter. And it I'm don't gonna be, matter. I'm, I'm outside. I'm cruising oh? the city. Oh, it don't matter. It don't ma I'm just getting. It that don't energy. matter because listen, yeah. I'm telling you, Tata's not yo, even outside. Yo, no T.L. More. He can't fit finish or snap no. back no more. He's done. He's done. He's done. Some niggas, all you need is to feel the energy. You don't even need to be there physically doing it. Nah, you. you it's need, just an energy you need. Or you feel. need the niggas around you to put that. That that energy. But who's to say he ain't got this? That? This the That's reason. Hold on, hold on. Niggas ain't around. He him doesn't. Right. Young Google now. Nah, young Google's still around. Who's the fuck out of here? Young Google. <laughs> hey yo, niggas just, pressing buttons. Hey yo, three. Nigga. Nah, yo, three. Okay. I, just was in, I just was in a class at LIU with him. That so nigga's yes. pressing hey, buttons, hey, my hey, nigga. Hey, what are you talking about, my nigga? Hey yo, three. Yo, stop. He is talking about. Yeah, he is. He is. He getting. He's getting that energy from Brazil. Y'all niggas. They they manage them. Y'all niggas just be getting that energy from him. Rock, Jay. Rock Nation manages them, man. He Jay, is not, Nation. Jay is not hands on with the mediocre <laughs> niggas, man. I'm pulling up. What are we talking about? Hey, yo, we got to come to camp. Three quarter niggas. We got to talk about. Hey, yo, tweet. We're going to have to continue this for next week. What are we talking about? We're going to have to continue this for next week. Nas is outside, my nigga. Hold on. Jungle, all of them niggas is telling Nas to get the fuck out of here. Hold on, tweet. Nigga, we're going to have to continue this for next week. What are we talking about? We're going to have to continue this for next week. Nas is outside, my nigga. Hold on. Jungle, all of them niggas is telling Nas what's going on. So, hold on, tweet. So, let me just get it clear. You said that Griselda is mediocre. No, not say mediocre to the fact that Jay is yeah. not watching what they doing to get the no, post of the no, culture. No, not, not saying that. Not getting the post of the culture. Getting that energy. Yeah. Absolutely that not. Mean. I'm uh, telling you. When have we heard a record? Listen. You <laughs> Where's the record? <laughs> Listen. You could take. You, the you, calendar <laughs> record? Where's the record? <laughs> Nas ain't have a record. He just dropped them. My nigga Nas is wrapping circles around his ankle. What are we talking about? The project. He ain't have a record. Yo, I'm we got to table this for next yeah. week. Yeah, oh, yo, next week. Ooh, we about to go another hour. Yo, pull up next week. Pull up next week. We got to pull up next week. We got to pull up next week. Combo. J O J. Close it out, three. Close the show with Nas reminisce, man. Yo. <laughs> Don't forget Bro, every show Friday. with Nas reminisce. I'll put it up for this combo. Every it's Friday, Friday, man, eight to ten. We worked overtime today. Shout out to Melly. You know what I'm saying? He over there. Close the show with Nas Shout reminisce, out to Nelly. man. Camera shot. <laughs> Shout out, out Nelly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up, man. Barlow's <laughs> Radio, man. Download the app. It's free. Go ahead, three. Close the show with Nas reminisce, man. <laughs> three was there. Three was there. I <laughs> read it, man. Word up, man. I love Hove. Hove. Hove beat him in a long game, money wise, but yeah. that's like saying LeBron is better than Jordan. Hey, Fuck out of here. We ain't gonna do that. No, we ain't gonna do that. Exactly. I'm gonna do that. Word up, man. Don't forget, man. Every week, 8 to 10. Bars Radio. No off seasons podcast, man. Check in with us. 
Hey, Jay, take us up out of here, man. I'll cuff it, give you discuff it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>